guys welcome back to one coin only before we get started we want to remind you once again about the one coin only shop if you want to grab yourselves a hoodie a tee a wallet maybe a pillow or uh you know maybe a onesie for your firstborn child or a phone case or something definitely check out the one coin only shop guys it's awesome to have you welcome back for another episode of whatever wednesday thank you once again to dwayne for a great show we're about to get started. We've got a good list here. You can see it in the description if you would like. And uh, we're going to start off with some arcade games today. Going to say hello to everyone before we get started. We've got Captain BS over on YouTube, over on the Facebook. we got Dustin. Uh, we got Hector there. we got Cody. we got Sabrina, Josh, Dave, D. Wayne. Thank you for a great show. we got Mikey. we got Luther, Lon, Rhonda, Sabrina, James. Guys, you are awesome. Thank you for coming by. we got Rick there as well. Good to see you, Rick. Alright, well let's get started. We're going to go back to the main screen here now. And uh, no, that's not the screen we needed. It's this screen we need today. There you go. Hold your horses, Rick. It's this one. This is the Whatever Wednesday screen. What the fuck are you doing? Alright, the first game we got is for Cedric. And Cedric has uh, requested... Ah, uh, there you go. I put Cedric's name in. Arabian uh, Magic. Which is actually a really, really fun game. I'm looking forward to, to putting this sunbish on. And I, for a second, I thought it wasn't going to work. Here we go. Let's see, here we go. We've got a Rainy Beam Magic here. This should load up in a second. Timmy already dropping 100 stars. Thank you so much, my man. And then there's Mod. 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 Thank you, Timmy. Much appreciated, man. That is absolutely awesome of you. Oh, sorry, Zana. I didn't mean to screw you, my friend. Okay, well, we'll see how we go, huh? How you going, Austin? Good to see you, Nick, there as well. Jesse, Ellen, Gareth, Brian, Tyler, appreciate you guys. Let's see how this go goes. Uh, guys, don't forget to let me know how the sound is before we get too far in. I want to make sure it's all comfortable. I'm going to use Simbad. This, this game seems to be a bit quieter than the other ones, doesn't it? Let me know how that sounds, guys. It should be a bit better anyway. All right, cool. There's no one size fits all with these uh, games, unfortunately. So this is kind of like a hacky, hacky, slashy, slashy arcade game. Uh, you go around choppy, choppy dudes. There's boss fights. Um, just a pretty cool, just a pretty cool action game from the early 90s, late 80s maybe. I'm not sure when this came out actually. So how does Duck Hunt work on an emulator, Dustin? I play it with a mouse, my friend. The only way I could play Duck Hunt on the emulator. <laughs> No, you're okay, Zana. Thank you so much once again for coming in. Dave says Ricky shared my, shaved his face hair. I was getting a bit sick of the facial hair, man. Let's oh, no. just get a little bit... Oh, damn. Did I... Oh! oh no. I didn't realize you could fall in the holes in the ground. No one told me this in the freaking memo. It's all right. Well, so what's been going on, guys? Welcome once again to the stream. As I said, big thank you to D-Wayne for a great part one. We got about... Uh, 15 games on this list. We may be sneaking in a 16th. I'm just not sure yet. I'm not doing too bad, Cody. How are you and young Cooper going? Hey, Rhonda, thank you guys. Absolutely. If you want to help us out, just give us that like and share if you don't mind, everybody. And Le Peyron says, you heard there's a like gun that plays on a HDTV. Yeah, but they haven't perfected the technology yet. It only works with, like, Duck Hunt and maybe another game or two. Hey, guy, Maddie. It's good to see you. Thank you for car ah, fucking eight. Thank you for coming. Ah! Thank you for coming in, bro. Appreciate it. We've got Money Matt over on YouTube. 
You didn't have a good whatever Wednesday request. It sucks for you. Yes, I'm sorry, Matt. Unfortunately, these things happen with technology sometimes. We do appreciate it. Uh, I'm sorry, Matt. I don't know what to tell you. We can only do our best, brother. I do apologize. And uh, we got Gary in here. Good to see you. So Cooper starts daycare March 2nd. There you go. He's going he's gonna to be king of the playground. Then what are you going to do? <laughs> now, good on him. That'll be awesome. We got Melissa. Good to see Melissa. Thank you for coming in. Oh, that's it. That's level one done. This one's for Cedric, by the way, once again. Thomas says, so Ricky, why do people call me the some bish? Uh, because I'm the... I I'm, I'm guess I'm the spiritual leader of the some bish army. So, I mean, it only makes sense. We call ourselves the Sunbish Army here, Thomas. And uh, we call our... The, 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 the word Sunbish came up because I was always saying Sunbish to these video games. And Sunbish is an absolutely awesome word because it sounds just like son of a bitch. But it, it's, 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 it's different. Like it sounds naughty, but it really has no meaning. And, you know, it just kind of stuck and that's what we call ourselves. <laughs> How you going, Gareth? Good to see you. Gareth's on the tube. We got Big J over on YouTube. Good to see you. Theo says Two Towers is actually an excellent game. I'm hoping so. I've never played it before. So once again, thank you for the request. Uh, you, you sent me a, a message DM on my OneCoin only Facebook page requesting UMK. Okay, I, I'll have a look at that later, April. Thank you for letting me know. Timmy with another 100 stars. Thank you, Timmy. Timmy says Bitcoin took a little dive today. What happens is 100 stars, man. I hope you can recover from that. And then there's more. And then there's more. And then there's more. And then there's more. Thank you so much for the 100 stars, Timmy. Yeah, I invested in WWE when they took an even further dip. But uh, I'm almost back to even now. So hopefully WWE keeps rising. Fingers crossed. And, uh, how you going, Daniel? Good to see you. How you going, Eric? Thank you very much for coming in. So we're going to do a few levels here. We've got a couple good arcade games to start with. The next game we got uh, is Gaiapolis by, uh, by Travis, which is a hacky, hacky, slashy, slashy game as well. Timothy sending the 50 stars. Timothy, thank you for the kind support, man. This is for you. Skanky, brutal, bottom-feeding, trash bag, ho! Thank you, Timothy. Good to have you in here today, buddy. We got Ricky Cushman. Ricky, have I ever told you that your name is absolutely awesome? We got Austin here too. How you been keeping, Austin? Thank you so much for coming in. And then Melissa says, "Do I have any Golden Girl star screens?" Yes, I do, Melissa. Thank and Melissa. With that being said, I just want to thank you so much for being a friend. <laughs> yes, I do have a Golden Girl star screen. And then, and then Jerry says the Dragon Warrior and Gaiapolis is OP. I've never, I, I like the look of the game. I've never properly played through it myself, Jerry. Oh my goodness. Almost got him. Oh, that's a second level boss done. You proud of me, Cedric? We're smashing this game. And Matt says, a punch out arcade is bad. Thank you, Matt, for sharing that with us. You know what mum used to teach you? If you don't have something nice to say, don't say anything at all. No one picks on your freaking request, brother. Jesus, bro. Melissa says, do it for me. Thank you, Melissa. Melissa with the 50 stars. What do we got for Melissa? We're going to do this one. Golden Girls, right at you, girl. Thank you for being a friend. Travel down the road and back again. I'll have to do one of Dorothy's uh, funny insults eventually. But thank you very much, Melissa. <laughs> I'll, have, I'll have to do a funny Dorothy insult one day. Hey, we got uh, we got Mr. and Mrs. Fields in here. Good to see you, Steve. Thank you for coming in. Glad you guys could both make it. As I said, guys, this is our Whatever Wednesday show. And uh, if you're new to the channel, this is basically our blast to the past. This is basically where we do our supporter requests. And uh, we do this show once a week over the whole day. <clears throat> I can show you the world. Choppy, choppy, chop, chop, chop. There we go. Did, did you did you did you like did you like my singing, everyone? I don't care if you liked it or not. I thought it was bloody wonderful. K 
Come on, Rick. Choppy, choppy, chop, chop. Now you got Jose in here from Vegas. Good to see you. A big shout out once again as well to our good friends at uh, Kid at Heart Gaming. The whole team over there. We, we love Kid at Heart Gaming. We love the Ham family. We, we love the Ham family here. We, it's a shame we don't see them as much anymore. But wonderful people. We love Jules. We love David. How you going, John? Good to see you. Ricky says Facebook is acting up tonight. What's going on with Facebook today? I don't want you guys to forget if you do have troubles with Facebook. Uh, we are dual streaming tonight on both Facebook and YouTube. You can watch on the platform of your choice. And uh, yeah, enjoy uh, enjoy the stream wherever you'd like. I have to, might have to use my little special weapon here. This is good. I did this about four or five months ago, I think, in the VIP stream, if I'm not mistaken. I'm using Mr. Sinbad here, the greatest pirate ever to sail the seven seas. Mr. Mr. Sinbad himself. Best explorer of all time. <laughs> and David says, David is your boss and his wife is your wife. Wow, that sounds like a very, uh... There was a song done by the New Order called Bizarre Love Triangle. And, uh, yeah, it, it sounds like a bit of a Bizarre Love Triangle right there. You guys would make a good sitcom, I think. <laughs> I'm only kidding, Mel. That was pretty silly, wasn't it? Oh, I appreciate you. Thank you so much for coming in. Marcel, thank you very much for the 50 stars. Marcel says, what game is this? This is called uh, Arabian Magic. This is basically Aladdin on steroids. And uh, April, you're eating shake and bake pork chops with bacon and cheese skull potatoes and asparagus for dinner tonight. Well, that sounds like a pretty good deal. I just, I just had some uh, beef jerky before I came on, actually. Beef jerky was my go-to snack today before the stream. Just a little protein. Got myself a creaming soda Pepsi Max next to me. How you going, Cat? It's lovely to see you. Thank you for coming in. Sorry, Marcel. I didn't give you your thank you screen yet. You got it. So, Timmy and Marcel with the stars. Thank you, Timmy. Thank you, Marcel. Oh, my God. It's Russell Crowe. Why'd you flush yourself down a toilet, you... Oh, my God. It's Russell Crowe. <laughs> oh, my God. It's Russell Crowe. Oh my goodness, Why don't you go flush yourself down a toilet, you cunt? Oh my goodness, there you go. That's the closest you're ever going to see to the sea bomb on one coin only. I do apologise in advance if little Timmy and little Jemima are watching. That probably wasn't the most uh, appropriate thank you screen we've ever done, but what are you going to do? <laughs> no, that's okay, April. You're forgetting. Poor old Tugger. Had to listen to Russell Crowe singing. <laughs> Oh, goodness. So, Timothy, uh, Ricky says it's buffering every two or three seconds. That's a known... It, the good news is, Ricky, it's not your connection. And uh, it's not my connection. There's There's been problems for ages with Facebook on some of their servers. Um, maybe go, go to your options and take it off auto uh, resolution. And maybe put it on 480 and see if you get a better quality... Uh, stream. Willie, good to see you. We got Willie over on YouTube. Thank you for coming in. This level here kind of reminds me of uh, Return of the Jedi. You know, the sand monster and stuff. It's like, yeah, this this kind this kind of looks like, uh, yeah, Return of the Jedi. <laughs> Except we're not using lightsabers. We're using swords instead. Melissa says you're loving how upbeat you are tonight. It's amazing what happens when you have a ton of caffeine, huh? Well, I appreciate that, Mel. Thank you so much. Chris says give Ninja Gaiden a go again. Yeah, we'll do Ninja Gaiden again one day. Don't worry. Josh says uh, YouTube's running as smooth as a baby's butt. Thank you, my friend. Oh, that is true. You do need to update your uh, applications pretty often, don't you? And we got Aaron Ryan over on the YouTube. We got Jerry on the YouTube. Thank you for coming in, guys. I hadn't said a proper hello to you yet, Jerry, so thank you very much for hanging out. Here's your winner and new WWE champion. And I'd love to be WWE champion one day, hey? I'm going to try and finish this level, guys. 
We'll see if we can get up to the boss in this stage, and then, and then we're going to start the next game. But, uh, Cedric, thank you for a very, very solid opening choice. This game is pretty freaking sweet. Mega Man X18, good to see you. You've never played this, you might have to get it. If you like your hat, cat, and slash uh, games, you, you can't go wrong with this. It's a quality game. Melissa says caffeine's a streamer's best friend. Most of the time, I'm pretty upbeat, but you know, you have your good days and your bad days. I have worked seven days a week since I got back in uh, January, so sometimes, you know, you'll wake up and you'll just naturally be a bit flat, but I've been taking the appropriate steps lately just to try and be more positive, uh, you know, to exercise, to have caffeine in strategic times of the day, and, uh, you know, it, it certainly helped me with my streaming a lot more. I feel, I feel over the last couple weeks anyway, so we'll keep working on it. And, uh, so Jose says, what am I going to play next? Well, we're currently on Arabian Magic. If you check the list pinned in the description, you can see all the games in order. The next game is called Guyopolis. Matt says, you wish new school games could be added to whatever Wednesday. Well, I'm sorry, Matt. They're, they're not. So, Willie says, you played this on the cap. Oh, did you? There you go. Thank you, Mel. Uh, you know, it's a little encouragement goes a long way, so I really appreciate that. He's like casting spells in this... Oh, dude. I, I need to... I wish his little freaking minions wouldn't get in the way. Oh, gosh. Hey, Matthew says Ricky's going to stream until he's 300. Yeah, I'm going to freeze my body like Walt Disney and then run simulations through a computer. <laughs> Oh, gosh. What else have we got? If I am missing any comments today, guys, I do apologize. You just have to copy and paste for me, guys. As I said, the first 10, 15 minutes of the stream is usually the most uh, hectic. And then usually after that, I can have a proper chat with everyone. All right, one more credit. I'm going to use my magic ability here. Simbad, cast a spell. There we go, I've got my little magician dude there. Come on, choppy, choppy, choppy everything. Hey, this genie's not doing his job. Genie, what are you doing? Oh, that genie was freaking useless, mate. There we go, we got rid of him. I've been made a puppet of the... Of the oh, there you go, that's a bit of a strong demon, isn't it? And, uh... Cody says, newer games wouldn't go well with whatever Wednesday vibes in your opinion. That's why we don't do the newer games on whatever Wednesday. PS2 or older is our rules. We do do PC games. We do have a loophole on whatever Wednesday. We can do newer PC games. Um, if I own them and they're already installed. Because then we can sort of like flip-flop very quickly between those. And it's not really too big a deal. But, um, you know, those old school games are more about instant gratification. If you're playing a new game on whatever Wednesday, your 20 minutes is basically just going to be a cutscene, you know what I mean? So it, it, it's not really practical. But we're going to move on from this one. This was the first game. Cedric, thank you for the request. That was Arabian Magic. Such a quality game, that one. I'm glad we did that today. And uh, the next game we got is for our friend uh, Travis. And uh, this is a game, guys, called Guyopolis. And uh, it's about a Guyopolis. And uh, the Guyopolis does Guyopolis things. And uh, I don't know. This is just a really, really fun action game as well. I hope you guys enjoy it. I'm pretty sure Como knows this. Good to see you, Zana, on the YouTube. Thank you for joining us. No, don't, don't request PC games that I don't have installed. It's just anything that I have installed and that I own loan. Forget about the PC games. I'm just saying, like, for a loophole. I'm just saying for a loophole. If, if someone's really got their heart set on it and I do own this particular game, we could do it. But put PC games out of your mind. I'm not going to go treasure hunting for PC games. It's not happening. And the reason I'm not doing PC games for whatever Wednesday is because they, they sometimes crash and they're hard to optimize and... No. 
So Diablos is actually like an RPG style game. It's not an RPG, it's like an action RPG like Diablo. Let's see how we go here. How you going Trisha? It's good to see you. Thank you for coming in. Lauren says she still wish I could play 3DO games. Oh here we go, we're gonna use this dragon. I, I, I don't have 3DO emulation. Maybe one day when the technology comes out, Lauren, we can do that. And we got a massive shout out to Kid Jackson. Kid Jackson, that is a lot of zeros, my friend. Thank you so much. Kid Jackson just dropped uh, a massive 1,000 stars. I've got a shout out to you from the very beautiful Kayla Braxton. Hey guys, it's Kayla Braxton, and welcome to One Coin. Only. This is the casual gamer's living room for all retro and current gaming. Resident Evil, GTA, Mortal Kombat, Mario, Contra, Zelda, Star Wars, Ninja Turtles, you name it, we got it. So now, are you ready to rumble? Thank you very, very, very much, Kid Jackson. That is super, super generous. And thank you for everything you do, not just for us, but the whole gaming community as well, man. You're a real generous guy. So Sabrina says, have I ever played Snack World? I, I don't even know what Snack World is. But, uh, I mean, it sounds like something of my own heart. I always like a snack. Well, so tell me what this Snack World is about. So once again, guys, this is Gaiopolis. And, you know, it's kind of like a Diablo-y Diablo style game. You just go around chopping everything. It's kind of like Mercs, but with a sword instead of a gun. And then Matthew, you, you prefer Charlie Caruso? Nah, I like Kayla Braxton, man. She's a cutie. How you going, Felix? Good to see you. Uh, as I said, Felix, look in the description and you'll see exactly what we're playing today, my friend. Oh, thank you, Jason. I appreciate you, man. Melissa says, in the west coast of Canada, you have mountains. I've flown over your mountains before, Melissa. I uh, was in Massachusetts in 2018, and uh, I had to fly from Vancouver to uh, Boston, and I had the pleasure of flying over the, the Canadian mountains, and I've got a really good view of them, and they're absolutely beautiful. So, yeah, my friend, I've been over your Canadian uh, mountains before. It was a solid experience, eh? <laughs> It looks like we're going to beat this block. Can we use our magic spell? There we go. We just cast a lightning spell. Oh, there we go. We beat this first stage. How you going, Shiva? Good to see you. Thank you for coming in. Welcome to the stream. Jeremy says the wife is waxing the Mrs. Balls on the sh Oh, wow. I thought you meant your wife for a second. I was going to be like, what the hell? Is she a beautician? <laughs> Sorry, man. Forgive me. I had to read that twice. Damn. I, I guess even the... It makes sense that the boys need a bikini w wax still if they're wrestlers. Because they wear tight tights. You, you don't need those hairs coming. Anyway. We're going we're gonna to leave that one alone. Melissa says she's five hours from Vancouver, eh? Is something from Japan and x was playing it earlier. It's an RPG on the Switch. You think he found it over there in the States for about $44. The enemies are different snacks. Well, that sounds like a good time, Sabrina. I might have to ask about that one. Oh, gosh. And here we go. Honkus is in here. How about some Rick Astley? You got it, Honkus. I know that who that is straight away. Ryan, thank you for coming in. I will never, ever give you up, tell you a lie, and hurt you, and... Uh... <laughs> Bonkers, thank you so much for those stars. Good good, good on Ricky for remembering the words to that song, huh? <laughs> Appreciate you, my friend. Oh, gosh. And once again, as I said, guys, really, really appreciate you all coming in. I feel like I finally got a bit of a, a rhythm here. And I can finally have the proper social experience with you guys. So how was everybody's hump day? What did everyone get up to with their Wednesday? How, what's it like being back in work? It must be really hard uh, to go back to a work week after a, a three-day weekend. That's, uh, that's, I mean, it's, you just you just get used to having holidays forever, don't you? How you going, Remy? We got the Panda Gamer in here. Good to see you, girl. Thank you for coming by. What time is it? Sweatpants time? It's actually 1.30 here in Oz, my friend. I'm going to use this uh, spell again. 
It's hump day, yeah. It's, well, it's, 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 uh, well, it's Wednesday in the United States, isn't it? It's not hump day over here. And then Marco with the 100 stars. Thank you so much once again, Marco. Marco dropping the 100 stars. Oh, there we go. We're, we're playing. This makes no sense to me. I don't know what's going on. Because, because, because have a look here, guys. We're playing this, like, fantasy RPG style game. And all of a sudden, this tank just rolls onto the screen, and the tank's like, yeah, what up, bro? Like, like, some, something here does not belong. Which one could it be? Remember that song? Wasn't that a Sen Sesame Street song or something? Anyway, Mar Marco, thank you for the 100 stars. Making it rain. Jody also with the 50 stars. Thank you, my friend. Thank you so much, guys. Much appreciated. Big star donations here today. Thank you so much. As I said, guys, it doesn't uh, matter if it's one stars or a million stars. It's all big if given from the heart, and it, it really goes to uh, to the right channels, guys. So thank you very much for all your support. Jason says, you guess you don't get President's Day in Australia? No, but we do get Labor Day over here. No, we don't have a President's Day. We we get the Queen's birthday because we're in a, we're in like the Commonwealth, so we we get the Queen's birthday instead of a President's Day, and then we get Labor Day like you guys do. I think you guys get a Labor Day, don't you? All right, choppy, choppy, choppy. Remy says work was a bit crazy in the afternoon, but tomorrow is a new day. Do I need to punch anyone, Remy? You just let me know. So Matt says you've never heard of this game either. I didn't find out about this game for the first time until about two years ago. I'm actually really surprised I haven't streamed it before because it's really, really, really good. And uh, this is just one. Of, this is just a perfect example of a hidden arcade gem. It's wonderful. The combat is fun. The boss battles are fun. There's only two buttons to remember as well, so it's not overly complicated. Damn, this boss is a headache. I should do my own parody of that video like Paul Rudd and Jimmy Fallon did of King of Wishful Thinking. Oh, I like that song. I want to do Wishful Thinking. <laughs> I wish I could sing. I'd love to do parody videos. It sounds like a good time. I, you know, I'd, I'd be perfect for parody videos just for the simple fact that I'm one of those people. When, when I was a I'm never very good at listening to the lyrics of songs, so when I was a kid, I'd always just make up the words. And, uh, you know, that's just one of those things I've always done. <laughs> How you going, Justin? It's good to see you. Thank you for coming in. And, um... David says this boss is a tubby. He's causing me some problems. Oh, look. I accidentally got uh, the cosplay chick in here. That's all right. Well, we're going to use the girl instead for a bit. Tony, thank you so much. Tony dropping the 200 stars. What can we give to Tony today? Let me see what we haven't used in a while. We haven't used this one. Where's my Power Rangers screen, actually? This one. Thank you, thank you so much, Tony. That's super generous of you today, my man. And um, Tony's now been a part of the family for 226 days officially. I have a feeling you've been here a little bit longer than that, Tony. I feel like I've known you for a bit now. Antonio says, You should have the video with Stone Cold Steve Austin dancing to the Rick Ass. I don't remember that one. <laughs> Antonio with the 50 stars as well. Thank you, my friend. And we got Tommy on YouTube. Thank you so much, Antonio. Always a pleasure to have you. We're going to continue on here. I've not been following the storyline. I don't know if you guys care about the storyline or not. Now, guys, the next game after this is Duck Hunt on the NES. And that's gone out to our friend Marco. I, I, I tell you what, Duck Hunt is still pretty fun with the mouse. We won't be on it for too long. Uh, but it's going to be about 10 minutes of good times. Yeah, absolutely, Kevin. Sounds good to me. And Jared says... Uh, it was cool you did that birthday shout-out. Oh, no problems, man. 
you know, you know, it's, 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 you know, I'm so bad at keeping track of days, but I mean, as long as I remember, man, it's always important to make sure people are uh, made to feel good on their special day. And Jared, thank you so much, Jared, Welcome with the, the 100 left stars. Right. It, baby. Always it nice on, to see Keep you in here, Jared. I hope you and the family are doing well today, my brother. Thank you so much, my friend. There you go, J Jared. Jared, you're probably gonna go floating in the background again now. You're, you're like a ninja. You're, you're like, you know, who you remind me of Jared. You remind me of our other friend, Quiet Josh. You know, you'll you'll be watching like for about two hours in the background, and then all of a sudden at random, you're like, "Hi, Rick." <laughs> it's like, damn, you just got me with that sniper comment. <laughs> hey, we got Jesse in here. We got Brandline Gaming. Good to see you, my friend. Thank you for coming in. Sorry I couldn't pop into your stream the other night, man, but uh, I, I sent the raid through anyway. I hope you had a good stream, brother. And John says there's supposedly a gun on the market for new TVs for Duck Hunt. There is. It's the Hyperkin light gun, I think. I have read an article about it. It does exist. But I think as it stands right now, it only works uh, with, with Duck Hunt, John. So it's not worth uh, purchasing yet. They need to improve the technology. But uh, they're getting there, man, and that's what's important. I think within the next five years, light gun games might be a thing again. So, you know, it's exciting times. This kind of, like, reminds me of that Magic Sword game we played. Do you remember when we played Magic Sword last week? This is kind of like that, but top-down instead. And uh, Antonio just dropped another 50 stars. Yeah, I know, brother. You're almost a part of the 1,000 club. I'm not, I'm not going to know what to do. <laughs> oh, strike, hit, two, close. Watch this. Oh, nearly picks me up. This guy hits so hard and fast. Marco says the first ever game on the NES was Duck Hunt, but your parents didn't know you need... Oh, no. See, when I got my NES, I didn't get the action set. I just got the standalone console. Uh, I didn't get the gun until uh, one or two years after I had my NES. But when I when when I finally got the gun for NES, it was like the happiest day ever for me. <laughs> oh, Kevin! Oh, yeah, no worries, brother. And uh, Dawson says he's watching the stream and rocking Rocky Four at the same time. Drago! If I can change, and you can change. Everybody can change! Yeah, I'm pretty sure a speech like that probably would have not worked back then, but good for you, Rocky. There you go, Rocky. It just goes to show that in the movies, Rocky was uh, single-handedly responsible for world peace. I mean, he's, he's freaking, uh, he's, he's like, uh, he's, he's something else at Rocky Balboa, isn't he? <laughs> How you going, Robbie? It's good to see you, man. Thank you very much for coming in. Oh, Garrett's also... You're also watching Rocky. Everybody, yeah, everybody can change. I oh, know, what a, what an inspirational speech, right? <laughs> Once again, Travis, thank you so much for the request. I hope you watch back on the replay, my friend. I know you really wanted this game. So, Goldberg is taking on the Fiend on SmackDown. I thought it was only happening at, um... I thought Goldberg was taking on The Fiend at Saudi Arabia. Why is it on SmackDown now? Or are they having a prequel match? Oh, wait, no, they're, sh they're having a face-off. They're not actually taking each other on, I think. I think it's a stare-down. You know, one of those, ooh, I'm going to get you, and ooh, I'm going to get you moments. Hey, Remy says it's a cute game. This is a really cool action game. I'm digging this, girl. You know who this chick looks like? She kind of looks like Josie from Josie and the Pussycats. You know, from those Archie comics back in the day. I don't, I don't know if you guys ever saw those. Uh, uh, oh, there we go. We just rescued some damsel in distress. There we go. You thought it... Oh. <laughs> Oh gosh, hey, we got Alex Santos in here. Good to see you, Alex. Hey, Veronica, what's been happening with you? Well, there you go. This is a bit kinky, guys. This goat man's about to make love to this chick. This this looks like one of those, like, uh, 
This looks like an episode of kind of like one of those, what's one of those space shows? Like a, I don't know, this is, this game is just starting to go in a direction where I don't, I'm not sure that I want to follow it. <laughs> Veronica's playing Mortal Kombat 10. I still love Mortal Kombat 10. That's like my favorite Mortal Kombat girl. That's like my favorite Mortal Kombat game. Alright, so I don't know how much longer we're going to play this one for. We'll start this level, guys, and then we're going to move on to the next game. But this was Gaiopolis for Travis. Thank you for your request. What's happening here? It's like boss time already? I don't know. Maybe we're at the end of the game. Alright, let's just beat this dude and then we'll see how we go. Oh, he's got like blocky blocky abilities. I don't know if I like that or not. Are you playing story mode? Story story mode in in in, in number ten's okay. I prefer the story mode in eleven, to be honest. I, I thought the story mode in Mortal Kombat eleven was was its weak point, but um, the game itself I loved. And Jesse says every pop star made a song together that makes Superman cry. Oh yeah, we are the world. That was nice. We had that song over here. Obviously, it was a big deal. Is he almost dead yet? What's he doing? Oh, okay, no worries, mate. We're just gonna go in the future and be, bring in a big gigantic tank. I have a feeling this might be the last boss. This game might not be very long. We've kind of just been going through the motions here, haven't we? All right, and then that's blown up. Oh, there's more stuff. I have a feeling this is like a 20 minute game, guys. This is the final boss, I think. Now what's going on? Oh look, it's a freaking Megazord. It's morphin' time! Go, go. Tank, tank, range? Anyway. It's like a cross between the Megazord and Krang. Alright. Go, go, Megazord Ranger. Du, du. Oh, let, there you go. We just, cho we just uh, chopped off his leg. What up? Oh, gosh. Oh, come on, Rick. Get that sumbish. Ah! Uh, I'm Gareth. Uh, Gareth says, Rick, if Final Fantasy VII and Resident Evil 3 release in the same day, you should do a 24-hour stream. 12 hours of both. Just a thought. Oh yeah, because you know what? It's just so easy to do a 24-hour stream, Garrett. <laughs> it's so easy. I mean, anyone can do it, right? I mean, duh. No, um, I mean, what, what's probably going to happen, Garrett, is I'm probably going to do uh, 16 hours of Final Fantasy VII when it's released, and then the next day I'll do Resident Evil 3. I'm going to do it smart. Well, thank you, Brandline Gaming, but you flatter me a little bit too much there, sir. Like I need to have a bigger head. I don't really have that bigger head. L.A. Evans, this is called Gaiopolis, and it's the arcade version, my friend. It's only on arcade, as far as I know. It's called Gaiopolis. Guys, look on the list. It's the game after Arabian Magic. Because I'm not going to spell it out for you. <laughs> like, because it's got really difficult spelling, literally. That's why you'll have to see the name of the game on the list. Is that, is that it? So there's, no, that's still going. Alright, well, we're going to have to leave that one there, unfortunately. That was a really fun game. I think I might end up doing that uh, in the VIP stream. Travis, thank you so much for an awesome request. Uh, we're going to move on to the NES this time. We're going to be doing Duck Hunt. And Duck Hunt is a request uh, for our good friend, Marco. So, Marco, thank you very, very, very much. We're going to go to the NES section. NES ROMs. Won't be a sec. I just heard a star donation. Alex, thank you, man. Alex with the 50 stars, you got it, sir. Duck Hunt is right here. And I just gotta go to uh, import port 2. Light gun, we are almost ready to go. So Alex with the 50 stars, Russell Crowe. Oh my gosh, there's so much to... Oh my god, it's Russell Crowe! <laughs> oh my god, it's Russell Crowe! I'm a business Why don't you go flush yourself down a toilet, you cook? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, my friend. Uh, so we got Lee in here on YouTube. Good to see you, Lee. Alex and Katie are in here. Good to see you. And Marco says, how many times a year will I do 24-hour streams? I think what you guys need to remember is I stream seven days a week. And, uh... 
And then it's, that's not a complaint. But if I do 24 hour streams too much, I'll crash and burn and we'll need to take a whole week off. You know what I mean? So, I don't, I don't think a lot of you understand uh, just how taxing a 24 hour stream is. If, if they weren't so exhausting, I'd do them all the time. Marco, thank you very much for the 50 stars as well. Uh, I wish it was just a matter of jumping on the com uh, computer and doing a 24 hour stream, but there's a reason you don't see too many of them. We got this. Oh, what's that, Alex? What do you got to tell me? And Mega Man X18 says this dog's a sumbish. She totally is. And Steve says it's okay, Rick. Make comic books to it. Oh, thank you guys. Okay, so Marco with the 50 stars is for you, sir. We're all gonna get laid. I wouldn't make Commodore do it. I wouldn't make any streamers on one coin do it. It's not healthy. That's what I'm that's my point. I'm willing to put my own body on the on the on the line, but not willing to do that to anyone else on the team. Josh says, do you know that you can control the ducks using the second player control pad? I did hear that. But I don't have a player two controller right now. So I'm kind of stuck on that one. Oh, thank you, Alex. I, I appreciate you. Uh, yeah, I, I, no, it's okay. It's, it, people are just enthusiastic, man. I take it as a compliment. I'll be right with you guys. Come on, sleep's not that important. That's why caffeine is invented. How you going, Josh? Good to see you there, my man. How do you stream on YouTube on Xbox? Is there a way? Probably, there, there probably is, Matt, but I don't know because I use uh, PlayStation. There we go. We're going to pass a few levels here for you, Marco. They're going to eventually get a bit trickier. Hello, Katie. How are you doing today? Well, Richard, we're going to call this Sunbish Hunt today. We are on a hunt for Sunbishes today. There we go. We got him. Oh, my goodness. And Alex says you can sleep when you're dead. I'm glad all you sumbitious think that all I'm good for is sitting in this chair for 24 hours. And, uh, you know, maybe having the occasional drink of water. I'm, I'm glad I'm glad you think that's an appropriate lifestyle for me. <laughs> I'm glad you guys are doing well. Thank you for coming in again, Katie. Big J Law says this is his favourite game of all time. Don't mind me, guys. I've just got my concentration face on here. So, Big J Law says you had the orange NES gun. My friends all got the orange one. I think the orange NES gun was the one that came included in the the action pack, right? I just had the grey one. You know the grey gun? My, 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 my gun was sold separately. It came in a box and I just got the grey coloured one. I, I thought the orange guns only came in the action set. <laughs> I know, Joshy. I'm only playing, brother. I don't take it to heart because I know everyone's just enthusiastic for one coin only streams. But uh, some of you guys need to remember there's a person behind the camera that ha has their health to look after. <laughs> and uh, the two duck mode can get crazy. Next time we do this, we might try and do the two duck mode. Oh, so, so Marco says he had the orange and grey gun as well. Yeah, no, there was the orange and grey gun, and then there was just the play grey gun. And Antonio says, your wife stole your chalky milk. You're going to have to go to 7-Eleven and get another one, my friend. <laughs> Antonio, thank you for another 50 stars, buddy. And Steve says, Combo isn't a person. He's... Wow. Wow, that's a little bit offensive in 2020, isn't it? That That's like some cancer... <laughs> I'm only missing Steve. You're right, he is just a Scott Knox. That's a, that's a bad joke, Rick. No, we got to look out for Commo's health as well. We all got to remember Commodore works hard. You know, Commodore probably works harder than what I do. All right, this one's going out to you, Antonio. Thank you for the 50 stars. We're going to go for a couple more levels. We're going to see how we go here. I'm doing a lot better this time around than I did last time, but they're eventually going to get quicker. Ah, 
Uh, it's not just with streaming, Josh. I mean, it comes with the territory. I mean, I've been in the entertainment industry um, for 15 years. So, I mean, it doesn't matter if you're an actor, a singer, um, or a, you know, a streamer, or, or whatever, or an athlete. Um, you're always at the mercy of your audience. You know, it's just, uh, that's just that just comes with reaching a lot of people. And that's, uh, that's just, you know, you, I mean... If you can't handle the heat, get out of the kitchen. I can handle the heat. Sometimes it just burns. <laughs> I don't know if I'm using good analogies or not. There we go. We got... what, what did I say the next game is? Oh, kick, uh, Kickle Cubicle for Mega Man X18. Yes. And Dustin says he loves Duck Hunt. Duck Hunt's good. Now, guys, if we do get through this list pretty quickly, I may come on with a late night stream as well. Nick with the 50 stars, thank you so much. Alright, let's do one more level. What I'm gonna do, this is what I'm gonna do, um, Marco. I'm gonna use a safe state at the end of this level, and if this ever gets requested again, uh, we'll be able to play this on the higher difficulty, which I think will be pretty cool. Oh shit, okay, this is getting a bit tricky. Nick with the 50 stars. Nick, this one's going out to you. Thank you so much, my man. Plug, plug, share the stream, yo! Share the stream, yo! Thank you, Dustin. Plug, plug. You want me to play NFL hits one night? I'm not really a big NFL guy, though, Alex. That's a D-Wayne game. Antonio says, Wipey says, Baby wanted chalky milk, so Baby gets chalky milk. <laughs> That's kind of cute. Antonio, thank you for another 50, man. I'll be right... Ah, oh, fuckity! I'll be right with you. Excuse my potty mouth. Alright, got him. Matthew says, Duck Hunt gets intense. Yeah, it's getting... Fuck, he's flying all over the fudging place right now. What are you laughing at, you little fucking dog? The dog's like, ha ha ha, you missed. You won't be laughing, you stupid freaking mutt, when I shoot you between the eyes, ha. Huh? Just don't tell Peter on me. I've got to do one more level. This is actually picking up in challenge. Oh my gosh. Good to see you, by the way, Laura. Thank you for coming in, Mrs. Solvinson. Stupid little freaking... What are you laughing at, you stupid little dog? This is, you know, this is, uh... Hey, we got Danger Boon in here as well. Good to see you, Andrew. We're getting a lot more points per duck now. It's a shame that we could do so do like Wild Gunman and stuff on here as well. Um, actually, I'd like to try and do some of the other gun games with the mouse. That could be interesting. We'll have to try some more eventually. Dude, fucking get back here! Got the fucking duck! Ah! What are you laughing at? And Alex says him and Katie loves it when I get mad. And, and Big J doesn't like the dog. Me neither. And Cecil says, too bad you can't shoot the dog. I know, right? Gosh, I haven't seen that movie in ages. That was such a great movie, though, Robbie. And then Laura, Laura says you hated when the dog would laugh at you. You'd always shoot him as well. All right, that's it. That's, that's, that's about all the duck hunt I can handle. Oh, my gosh. Marco, thank you for your request. Man, I've done a save state. Uh, if we get requested that uh, game again, um, Kickle Cubicles, the next game for uh, Mega Man X18. If we get requested that game again, um, we'll do the harder difficulty. Do you think we need to do Duck Hunt and the Beat It or Eat It Challenge? You know, Jeremy, that's probably not a bad idea. Let me have a think about that. Justin says he had Duck Ramen and he didn't like it. I'm sorry to hear, bro. I don't know if we'll ever get over. <laughs> Excuse me. Thank you so much for the 150 stars, Justin. You're much appreciated, my man. Oh, and... Oh, my goodness, David. <laughs> Alright, here we go. We got Kickle Cubicle. This is a really cute little puzzle game. We have actually done this on whatever Wednesday before. This one's going out to Mega Man X18. Thank you very much. Let's see how we go on this bad boy. There's the classic... You no, know, I never had this in Australia. So, I mean, I didn't play this until you guys... Uh, recommended it to me, but I, I do quite enjoy this game. So you're gonna solve puzzles, you're basically gonna find ways across the water. 
Jeremy, thank you, man. Jeremy with a 60 stars. He said he approved of the Duck Hunt gameplay. Now, how do you spell Jose? Give me a boy's name that starts with the letter H. Jose. Jose with an H, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I don't know. Hey, I just like Family Feud. What can I tell ya? Oh, well, I just died already, didn't I? We're gonna start again. I didn't know what to do. It's been a minute since I played this. Oh, boy. Let's try this one more time. Alright, here we go. We got our little say. I've forgotten how to play this Mega Man X18. It's been a minute. How do we do this? What are we supposed to do? Oh, we gotta shoot those things. Oh, we turn them into ice bricks. Oh, I see. Alright, so we gotta wait for one of these sunbishes to... Okay, I've got to remember what to do here. Alright, and then... Now, now what are we going to do? We're just going to push this one, one, this way. Okay, that didn't really work out. Oh, fuck it, excuse me! Alright, All right, there we go. So we got to somehow get up over here. Tony, thank you, man. Tony with the 200 stars. Appreciate it. Sorry, guys, I just got a... Uh... And Timothy says, is there a game that's relaxing and calm for me? Uh, I mean, I, I mean, I do like RPGs. A lot of you guys think I don't like RPGs. I do really like RPGs, but they're just not really appropriate for uh, streaming on our channel. But, you know, games like Final Fantasy X and Diablo and all that, they're very calming for me because they've got a repetitive sort of, like, monotonous uh, nature to them. D. Wayne says, oh, this is definitely a Ricky game. <laughs> You just want to say that the Mrs. Wife is stacked. Yeah, she does have very big bo bosoms. Is that what you meant? If not, that's what I meant. This is what... <laughs> this is going out to you, Tony. Thank you. I may or may not have looked at Maurice's Playboy photos more than once. May, may or may not have. May, may or may not have. <laughs> May or may not have. We got this. Now, all we have to do is get all those bags, right? Oh, crap. Shit balls. How you going, Captain Piaz? It's good to see you. Uh, do we have to start the level all over again? Oh, dude, really? Wouldn't be a puzzle game if you didn't have to repeat a level, huh? Oh, gosh. All right, let's keep going. You see, this this gra gradually will get harder and harder. Oh, that's it. That's all of them. So Vargas says you just saw the latest episode of Monday Night Raw. What do you think of the show today, brother? How you going, Josh? Sup, Sunbish? I'm not doing too bad. How you doing, Sunbish? Anna says she loves these type of puzzle games. They're certainly not without their charm. I kind of like those puzzle games that are easy to play but hard to master. And at least this isn't as ball-breakingly hard as, like, Adventures of Lolo. Did any of you guys play Lolo back in the day? You're wrong, this is a Remy game, you think? Yeah, we can give this to Panda. The ravishing places were hidden, were hidden and these islands were made to confine us. I don't care about the storyline, I just want to play another level. No one gives a flying fuck about a, a storyline in a puzzle game, do they? Oh, Mega Man X18 says you quit on Lolo. Yeah, me too. I, I I used to borrow Lolo off my friends when I was in school, and and now I understand in hindsight why they were so quick quick to lend those games to me. <laughs> oh gosh. Hey, Neil, good to see you. Big shout out to all our uh, UK friends who are up, uh, nice and early today. There we go. There's another one. Jerry says it's chicken and waffles night. I was, I was never really into Sable, hey. So Sable was a bit too, uh... uh how can I put it? And I'd never say this to Brock Lesnar, because he'd kill me. But, uh... You know, Sable for me was like, you know, if she was out in the sun for more than five minutes, she'd probably melt. If, if you get what I'm trying to say. I, I kind of, you know... I'm a bit more of a natural guy. Maurice is actually the exception. <laughs> 
Alex says, what's my least favorite game? That's actually a good question. Uh, probably Blitzball. My least favorite game is within, like, my favorite game, and that's Blitzball in, uh, Final Fantasy X. I think Blitzball absolutely sucks. Oh, dude. Josh, thank you, man. Josh with another 50 stars. And Josh says, stars are the best ambition. May you have the Karate Kid screen. I haven't used that in a while, man. I need to find where it is. But I'm going to do my absolute best. Let's see if we can find that. I don't know if the Karate Kid screen is here anymore. Oh, here we go. We do. It's still there. <laughs> Josh, thank you for the 50 stars. I love Asuka. I, I like how quirky Asuka is. I really enjoy her YouTube show. It's just so incredibly random. And uh, it, it's just cool. It's just cool how she's herself. She's very, very, very much herself. <clears throat> there we go. Guys, we, we do have women and children in here. I, I still need to, I need to stop being a perv burger. In, at least until one point after dark. So, you know... You know, all the ladies in this room probably don't care about us talking about butts and boobies and, and all that kind of stuff. So we might have to give that a rest. <laughs> yeah, pretty much, Alex. She'd melt if she was in the sun for too long. What are we going to do here? I don't know how to get out, mate. Oh, well, that sucks. Excuse me. Let's try this again. How you going, Nico J? No worries, Anna. We got you. I don't, I don't want you to think I'm like a dirty, dirty, naughty boy. I care what you think, Anna. We're gonna, uh... We're gonna get this. Oh, wait. We're just gonna get that other bag. Oh, that's a nice, easy one. Oh, so Alex says he has to cut this short because it's movie night. No worries. I hope you and Katie enjoy the movie. Goodbye, Katie. Have a nice night. See you, Alex. Thank you for coming in, guys. Yeah, that, that is true, Nick. O out of luck. Yes. No, that's fine. I, I don't... I'm not really into celebrities anyway. But, you know, there's a couple that I think are alright. Anyway, we're going to drop this topic now. My bad. I pushed it too far. So we're gonna do this. Oh, what's that? That's like Psycho Chicken. Hmm. So what do we do? We're gonna try and build the bridge this way. You finally caught Asuka's show. It's really good, isn't it? I, I really dig Asuka's show. Oh, come on. We're gonna, we're gonna build this bridge this way. Come on. Keep going, Rick Dog. Oh gosh, we're close. One more, just over here. Oh no, fuckity! Bastard mother psycho bitch chicken! Oh my gosh, alright, there we go. No, I'm gonna do one more. Fuck off, chicken! Who asked? Oh my gosh! There we go, we made it. Stupid psycho chicken. Matt says 50 stars for Phoenix Rising win, even though it's pre season. Uh, hey man, pre-season's a big indicator of how the actual season's gonna go. So, what would you little maniacs like to do first? Thank you, Matt. Appreciate the 50 stars. We got Shawnee in here. Thank you for coming in. That's right, Asuka did Truck Simulator. I was like, man. Hey, we got Father Axe Keeper in here. Sorry, man, I didn't mean to miss you. Good to see you. Hope you and the wife are doing well today, brother. Yeah, I remember that old psycho chicken. Back in the day. Damn it! Oh my gosh. Uh, Asuka's channel is called Karnachan TV on YouTube, Antonio. Karnachan TV. And, oh, jeez, man, I can't get past this one. Mega Man, I suck at your game. I guess we all got to start somewhere, huh? Hey, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, gosh, alright, well there we go. We're going to get this one. Oh wait, okay. Oh, what the hell? This guy has been a little fucktard. Excuse me, I'm very angry now. 
He just resurrected too quick. Oh, he did do! Oh, so it's, he's like, psych, you can't kill me when I do that. Oh my gosh, well, screw you then, buddy. Oh, man. This is a bit... Oh, dude. Alex, thank you, man. Alex with another 50 stars. Be right with you, man. Oh, fuck it, hey! Hang on! Oh my gosh. Okay, this is getting a bit tricky. Yes. Boy. Alright, so what are we going to do for Alex? Alex wants Steve Irwin. I need to find where I put Steve Irwin. Here you go, my brother. <laughs> Thank you for the 50 stars. Yeah, I, I love Randy Orton as a heel as well. This is the best Randy Orton I think I've seen since 2009. I, you know, Orton kind of got boring for a decade there. But you remember when Randy Orton had that storyline with the McMahons and Triple H back in 2009 when he had Legacy? I thought that was awesome, Randy Orton. And then ever since then, I just never thought he was the same. But this has been a, this has been a good renaissance period for him. I'm really enjoying the booking. Oh, gosh. Sabrina says you can do it. I'm trying to. Levels a uh, headache. Can we can do it? Get back off, I'm here. Oh, damn it! Oh, there we are. Come on. All right, so there's that one. Now just one more side. Oh boy. Oh dude. Oh. And then D-Wayne says Randy Orton should let R Edge win. If you were Randy Orton, you'd let Edge win. You're probably right. <laughs> very nice, D-Wayne. Very, very nice. How you going, Nerd with the Grudge? You, you know, I don't know why you... Oh, gosh. Go! There we go. Knock, knock his freaking block off. Oh, there we are. I didn't realize you could get the pink ones. Oh, how about... Oh, my gosh, we did it. I need a drink. Vargas? No, I think Vargas is sick of... I uh, No, Vargas, I think Randy Orton is just sick of wrestling marks, to be honest. You know those wrestling fans that think they know everything and no matter what happens, they've always got something to complain about? I think they're the kind of people that Randy Orton is sick of. I'm a wrestling fan. I'm not a wrestling mark. I kind of... But, uh, I mean, you know, each to their own. But there's just some people in the world, like on the internet, that will always complain no matter what you do. And I, I think they're the people that Randy Orton is sick of. I don't think it's actually being a heel in itself. I've almost got this already. Oh, crap. We're very, very close here. Very, very close. Come on, you sumbish. Oh, already. Oh, come on, you... Come on. Where's he going? Almost there. Come on. Matthew says this game is intense. It is, man. I've been tapped my full focus at the moment. There we go, that's another one done. I think there's boss levels in this. I was trying to, uh... I was trying to get up to a boss level for you guys, at least before we moved on. Fargus says, poor Randy, he deserves better, but not with that attitude. I, I, look. I'm kind of, I'm, I'm on kind of two sides of that, you know. Um, you know, he's, I mean, you've, you've got to... As I said, it gets back down to my comment before, Vargas, about being in the entertainment industry. It's a lot of pressure. And, you know, when you've been on the road for how many days a year Randy Orton's on the road uh, for the last two decades, uh, you're going to get over it sooner or later, you know what I mean? It's um, it just, just, just one of those things, my brother. It's, uh, it's something you don't understand until you're in the entertainment industry. Last stage in each island has a boss. I don't know if we're going to make it that far today or not, but we're going to keep trying. How am I supposed to get across then? Oh, I see. Well, that's cool. Look at that. 
So I'm going to wait one more time, see if there's a boss around this corner. Big thank you once again for coming in, guys, as well. I want to say uh, a big hello to all our new followers, reminding you guys this is our Whatever Wednesday show, guys. And uh, don't forget, guys, if you're a supporter of the page... Uh, you can make a request every Wednesday within 24 hours of the show in our inbox, guys. And uh, we will play any retro request for you, for, uh, subject to availability, of course, uh, on the channel for you every week. And, uh, all right, we're going to... See, I'm, uh, look, we're going to do this one last level. I'm, I'm trying to get to a boss battle for you, Mega Man, but we might need to move on. Wait, we only got one more to get, so hang on, we'll see how we do. Just one more over here. Alright, so maybe, maybe, all right, maybe, maybe the boss is after this one. Marco says you wonder if the Dark Hunt has a final boss. No, it just loops forever until you lose Marco. It just loops forever. No worries, Jeremy. You have a good sleep, man. We'll see you tomorrow. Hey. Damn, this is going forever. Hey. I'm ways off from the boss, am I? Oh, that's a bummer. Well, you know what? I'm going to try... This, these must be really, really big worlds. I'm going to finish this one. I'll finish this stage for you, brother. And then, yeah, we'll, ha we'll have to move on. But thank you very much for coming in. Appreciate ya. Big shout out to Mega Man X for being an awesome supporter. Over on the YouTube machine. Don't forget we're streaming on both today. And, um... And Josh says he's going to become a supporter next month because you love one coin. Thank you, man. I appreciate the helping hand. And it's thanks to you awesome sumbishes that we can do this full time and improve the channel. We're going to uh, go back up. Yeah. And then Nerd with a grudge says Super Punch Out is the best uh, punch out fight you. Nah, man. Mike Tyson's punch out. <laughs> Thank you, Anna. We, we kind of got used to the rhythm of this game, didn't we? Oh, Randy Orton's earning a pretty packet. I'm sure he's got enough money to last forever now, Nick. Being on that seven-figure salary that he is. Alright, we might leave that one there, because that was a good 15-minute run. Uh, once again, Mega Man X18, thank you. That was Kid Kip Cuticle. Uh, we're going to move on to the PlayStation now. The next request is our, for our friend Cody. And uh, Cody has requested South Park, and uh, we did this last uh, on Thanksgiving. This is a fun game for about uh, 15 minutes, so we might try and uh, we might try and uh, finish the level in this, and we'll see how we go. Forgive me for picking my nose, guys. It's just a little bit itch itchy. I, I get a nervous itch in my nose, and you have the pleasure of watching me scratch it. So here we go. We're gonna load this sunbish, and I might have to turn the sound way down on this one. We'll see how we go. Here we go, guys. This is the South Park game. So I am using RetroArch to play this, because this doesn't usually work on my regular emulator. So uh, we got two PlayStation games now. First the South Park game, then Castlevania Chronicles, and then Papa the Rapper for Jonathan. Let's see how we go in the South Park game. I'm hoping I do all right with the buttons. Once in a great while, the malevolent forces of the universe... <laughs> You're right, Cody. Thank you once again for the request, no by the way. I need to go to the story mode. Hey, you guys are back. You guys, seriously, guys. You guys are back. Are back. Hey, to you guys who respect my character. Gosh, these are cutting-edge graphics, aren't they? And then Antonio says, for game show Sunday, I should play Chef's Love Shack. No, Chef's Love Jack is a, a D-Wayne game. Antonio, this is for you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, Sabrina says, be Kenny. Oh, I'm sorry, Sabrina. I didn't see that until after. We, we do set Chef. We have done Chef, Chef's Love Shack a couple times. I'm not kidding. Our lives in danger. What the hell is that about? Alex, thank you, man. Alex with the 50 stars. Alex says, don't forget to bring a towel. I won't if you don't. don't that's it. Towel. That's a melody to fuck it down. 
Thank you, Alex. Much appreciated. All right, here we go. Uh, and uh, D Wayne is hanging out, I think, over on uh, on YouTube at the moment, guys. If you want to chat to D Wayne over there, D Wayne flip flops around. I've got to remember the buttons on this. All right, here we go. What, what button throws a snowballs? Okay, and what button changes the oh the select button? All right, well here we go. We can do this. All right, let's go around hunting turkeys, guys. Gobble, 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 gobble. Take that. Gobble, gobble, gobble. Hey, kitty. Oh my gosh, there's turkeys all over the place. <laughs> What a random ass game this is, huh? There we go, we got him. You have an option of getting your PS2 emulator up and running or saving your money to get a PS2. I would get the PS2 because the emulator only has about a 60% success rate at the moment, nerd. I would get the PS2 and I would mod it. And then you can just uh, play burnt games anyway. And, uh... Yeah, we'll probably we'll probably kill Kenny in this game. <laughs> oh, I've got to try and find all the kids before we do anything. It's pretty linear. Hey, I'm gonna turn my TV down another notch. Again, sorry if this is a little bit loud. I can't turn it down any uh, quieter than this. You're watching Rocky. Oh, Rocky Four, you mean, Maddie? Uh, Joshy. That, 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 that one was the Drago was in number four, brother. Rocky V was the one where he goes, Hey, I do you know, Bell. That, 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 that was, uh, that was number five. Oh, well, there we go, we got cow. Gobble, gobble, gobble. Take that, you stupid turkey. Once again, guys, this is the South Park game. This goes out to Cody. Now, I'm playing the PlayStation version today. The Nintendo 64 version does have better graphics, but I don't always get that running so well. I hired this once. Uh, I oh crap! <laughs> I hired this once when I was a kid from the from the video store. Never again. Justin says, "Yeah, the Nintendo 64 version doesn't emulate so great, though. So you're stuck with this one. We're all gonna have to deal with it." <laughs> the controls are better in the PlayStation version as well, too. To be honest, even if the graphics are not. Oh crap. Damn it, fuck off, turkeys! Oh gosh. And Cody you used to play this game all the time because you explore the town. Yeah, it was it was pretty cool. I, I, I thought the start was pretty fun where you just sort of wander around South Park. That was pretty well done. This game doesn't do anything exceptional. To be honest, this game's just fun for a laugh for a couple of minutes. We're gonna, we're gonna follow this arrow. The arrow says, go this way. All right, well, that's what we're gonna do. You want some turkey burgers? I could go a turkey burger. I, guys, I've got a life hack for you. I've got, I've got a bit of advice for you guys. Never, ever, 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 ever uh, try turkey spam. It's the most disgusting canned meat I've had in my whole life. Never, never eat turkey spam. Do yourselves a favor and don't eat it. What the hell? turkeys all over the place. Fuck, man. So it's, wow. <laughs> this is absolutely nuts. Mega Man X18 says you remember watching a friend play this long ago? I don't think I ever played this with the buddies. I've forgotten what the bosses are in this one, to be honest. I think we're still going the right way. I've got to look out for a sign. Oh, yeah, we are. Okay, go this way. Oh boy. Ner Nerd with a grudge says this is Doom 64 but with turkeys, you think so? I'm looking forward to finally trying Doom 64 when it gets re-released next month. That'll be cool, actually. We're gonna keep looking around here. According to this arrow, we're still going the right way. Alright, no worries. Oh, fuck off you turkey! Oh my gosh! Fuckity! Excuse me. Damn it, there's too many turkeys! Use old fire mode? What's old fire mode? 
To throw your pee balls. How many pee balls do you get? Alright, we're gonna throw balls of piss. Oh, wait, I, I pressed the wrong button, my bad. There we go, we're gonna throw our urine balls now. Yeah, but they take too long to load. There's no point, apart from just being vulgar. I mean, how much pee has Eric Cartman actually got left? <laughs> oh, man! Crazy! So there's some new games coming on Switch Friday for the NES and Super Nintendo. Do you know what they are yet, Payron? <sighs> gobble, gobble, gobble. Wow, that's... Oh, man. I, I feel like the members of the 300 right now. I, I, I feel like the whole Persian Empire is coming after me, but instead of Persians, it's turkeys. It's like carbon versus every single turkey on the face of the planet. Oh, my gosh. Now what? Can we open this door? Well, I'm freaking stuck, aren't I? Oh, Twin B. I thought Twin B already got released in the, in the Switch store. Hey, on Shadow of the Ninja is one of them. That's a good game. That is a very good game. A hard game, but a good game. Alright, so this door opened up, apparently. Oh my gosh, Cody, what are you doing to me today? <laughs> I only vaguely remember how to play this because I streamed it, um... Which way am I supposed to go? This, oh, this way, okay. Yeah, because I played it on Thanksgiving. Yeah, this is South Park, Jerry. Now, guys, the next game we got on the list is Castlevania Chronicles, which is, uh... A PlayStation 1 reimagining of, um... The original Castlevania game on NES. You guys will hopefully get a kick out of it. There'll be safe states galore on that one, though. Just a warning in advance. Veronica says you are sleepy. Gobble, 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 and, and all that business. Where am I supposed to go? Can I go up this way? All right, we can't go up the mountain. Little, this is sort of the part where I get a little bit lost now, but it's all good. Oh, there's a finish line. Oh, hooray. We're going to go talk to Chef. My goodness. <laughs> New head-to-head -head character available. Mr. Mackham guy. Well, sorry, Mr. Mackham guy. Okay. <clears throat> Boat Jewel, Shadow of the Ninja, Twin B, and Smash Tennis. Ozzy wants me to kill some hippies. <laughs> All right, let's let's see what Chef's got to, Chef's got to say quickly. Hey, going Stanley, welcome to Whatever Wednesday, my friend. It's good to have you. Captain BS counted that I killed 126 turkeys. Man, that's gonna make for one awesome Thanksgiving. I thought there was supposed to be a cutscene with Chef. Uh, I'm just going to collect all these bastard children. Met Kenny. All right, we're going to collect the kids. Where's this other one? Now, do we go in the chef house or what happens? Oh, here we go. We're going to talk to chef. Chef, chef, you were right. The comet is doing crazy spooky things. We're being invaded by mutant turkey. I know children. I saw it in the news. Those mutant turkeys are being led by bigger turkeys. What game was annoying? Game, Sorry, Justin. Oh, Josh says turkeys. you've been playing Magic the Gathering online. It's fun. I used to love playing Magic. Well, really I don't have enough time to commit to it out. anymore. But uh, I used to be on that all the time. Yeah. I like card games very much, especially competitive ones. Hey, we got oh, Chef Jonesy yeah. over on the YouTube. Chef, I'm doing all right. There you go. You came in at the right time. We were just hanging out with our friend Chef. He's too busy getting the simultaneous loving baby right now, so we're gonna move on. Hello, children. We're gonna make sweet love by the fire. Really, the only thing I'm making love to right now is a bunch of turkeys. That's a bit wrong, isn't it? I didn't mean it that way, jeez. <laughs> that sounded so bad.
Is this is is it the game or the other South Park where you can turn you can turn these ones yellow, but there's no point because uh like uh, you get slaughtered. Oh look, I'll show you. You can't shoot them as quickly when they're yellow. Yeah, you know it's, it's just there for the look. There you go. I turned I turned them yellow. There you go. Piss snowballs. It's hilarious. <laughs> it's not that funny, guys. Jeez, you're all, you're all freaking juvenile, mate. It's like you haven't seen a, a peat covered freaking snowball before. Wait, what have we got over here? All right, we got, we got him. Are we supposed to go down here? I don't even know. No, that, that kind of looks like a dead end. Well, I don't know where to go now. I'm kind of freaking stuck. Oh, we're going to follow this sign. You probably shouldn't steal things, Jesse. That's not a cool thing to do. And Chef says, how's the stomach after the shake? Oh, I'm doing a little bit better, thank you, my brother. The, the stomach was never too bad. It was just disgusting. Where's the plunger gun? What game was that? That was the quack shot. Oh, damn it. Oh, my gosh. absolutely nuts. How you going, Como? Good to see you. Thank you for coming in. Yeah, a little bit of toilet humor here today. Jeez. So what else is happening, guys? I'd love to know what else everyone's been up to with their day, especially if you've just come in, guys. I don't want to just talk about myself and my own shenanigans. Contrary to popular belief, I'm really not that interesting. I need to bounce off you guys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna live vicariously through you guys. How am I supposed to get up there? Oh my goodness. Oh look, there's a big gigantic mother bitch turkey up there. Holy shit. It's the mother of all fucking turkeys. Oh my gosh. It's, it's, it's boss bitch turkey. Get over here, boss bitch turkey. Oh my gosh. Oh look, I'm still looking at this turkey sphincter, aren't we lucky? You better not turn on me. Oh my gosh. Apparently a door's opened up over here. Well, hooray for us. And then Chef Tones, he says you just got off work. It's been a long work week. No, I can imagine, brother. Oh, where are we supposed to go now? This way, apparently. Well, it just pointed me in this direction. Now I'm freaking stuck. Maybe we got to go this way. Como says it's nearly 4.30 a.m. and you're eating ice cream. Dude, that's the best time to eat. Oh, fuck, it's another boss turkey. It's the best time to eat ice cream. Gobble, 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 gobble. Back off. Oh, man, I don't really want to look at your butthole. Ugh. Go away, there we go, we opened another door. I have been throwing piss snowballs. You guys need to... I've already done it. Hey, gone, Andre? It's been a little minute. I hope you're doing well. I haven't seen you in a little while, actually, brother. Alright, so we're gonna, we're gonna get off this one in a second. Big shout out once again to my brother, Cody. Thank you for everything you do. We're just gonna see what's around the next couple of corners. It doesn't look like there's anything too new to see, so we might move on shortly. I'm just happy that we managed to beat a level. That doesn't happen too often, my friend. I hope you're impressed. Oh my gosh. You love this game going up? I enjoyed this. this is, let's be honest, this game's not that great, but I, I really enjoyed it too, just because it was like a South Park game. I was just happy to have a South Park video game. You can piss on the snowballs for more damage, but there's too much of a delay in throwing them. That's what I'm trying to explain. See? This, you can't throw them fast. And with the amount of turkeys that come at you, it just causes... Fuck, see? Like, everyone's saying, use a piss snowball. It's just a gimmick. They're not even that good. How are you going to throw uh, snowballs in this guy's butthole again? Got him, so I think another door opened. Alright, let's have one more look around this corner. Oh, gosh. 
Well, uh, South Park Rally's terrible. We actually did South Park Rally for a recent uh, episode of Whatever Wednesday, and uh, yeah, that, wa that was not the best request we've ever had. <laughs> no disrespect if anyone in this room was the one that made that request. That game sucked, though. Oh my gosh. But you know, hey, it was still South Park at least. Let's see what's in here. Alright, we're going to take on one more boss turkey and then we'll probably have to move on. Oh gosh. Hey, Chef, thank you so much. Chef just sent $5 super chat on YouTube. you got to show your favorite sun dish some love. Gracias, amigo. Man, after all this time, thank you for sticking by us on one coin, man. That is absolutely awesome of you, brother. What do we got for Chef Jonesy? I'm gonna find uh, this one. And it's Booker T, six-time world champ, two-time WWE Hall of Famer. Thank you, Chef. Five dollars super right chat. Now, one coin only. Hey guys, you can check out one coin only on Facebook right now. Do it. Do it now. They do it for you. My my pleasure, Cody. And Cody, once again, I want to thank you for everything you do for the brand as well, man. I just want to let you know how appreciated you are. We are going to have to move on, though, because we do have a pretty big list to get through still. And uh, David has requested Castlevania Chronicles uh, on the PS1. I think you guys are going to like this game. I'm hoping so anyway, so I'm just looking for where it is. Castlevania Chronicles. I'm... Oh, I just crashed my program. Well, that's a problem, isn't it? All right, let me see if I can get it running on this other emulator. Damn it, that program... Damn it. All right, we're going to have to go back over here. Sorry, guys. This is um, one of those days where, okay, calm down, Rick. We haven't tried this emulator yet. Uh, Castlevania Chronicles. All right, so it looks like this emulator is working at least. We're going to do... Um... Oh, here we go. Let's see, let's see if this one works. Can we reload? Oh, here we go. This is working on this one. Oh no, that just crashed again. Jeez, man. Oh my gosh. Alright, reset. Here we go. I'm trying, guys. This game has always been a little bit finicky. Oh my goodness. Alright, guys. So yeah, Castlevania Chronicles. That is a Streets of Rage background. That's very well spotted. I'm hoping this will work, guys. I'm hoping... I'm trying to get this working. Alright, so far so good. Alright, Castlevania Chronicles. We're going to go to the options mode. And uh, arrange options. Yeah, that's totally going to go on easy. Because this game is freaking balls hard. And uh, alright, we're going to do arrange mode. Turn the volume up a bit on this bad boy. Alright, let's see how we go. Joshua says, Rick's not going to miss those turkeys. Certainly not. Name entry. Oh, that'll do. All right, let's see how we go on this one. So this one's going out to you, David. If I have any errors on this, I do apologize. This uh, game's always been a bit finicky. No, that's okay, Luther. It's good to have you in here now, man. That's the main thing. Now you can see we've got a very beautiful emulator upscale of it here, so this game looks absolutely phenomenal. Um, so yeah, what was I going to say about this bad boy? This is basically a reimagining of uh, Castlevania on the NES, just like the Super Nintendo version was. Oh, I appreciate that, Chef Jonesy. I'm just a sumbish with... Uh, a video game controller, my man, but the fact that you get so much uh, enjoyment from the channel is enough for me, sir. Appreciate that. Rebel says, whip it, whip it, good and all that. Well, I'm trying to. Uh, how, how's the sound and everything, guys? Just want to make sure everything's alright before we get too far in. Oh, crap. And Rini says, get it, Ricky. I will, I'll get it if you do. <laughs> Good to see you once again, Panda. 
Don't forget Panda's back on the channel every Saturday night as well, guys. And uh, Panda, I'm not going to be streaming after you this weekend because I'm going to be having a rest after your stream for the 24-hour marathon. So uh, you, you can do whatever you like. The whole evening's yours. Whether you want two hours or more, it's totally up to you. Um, you played your favorite South Park game. It made you laugh so hard back then. Because, you, know, you know, we're a little bit desensitized to it now, Robert. But back in the day, that South Park cartoon just felt so much more... Uh, Nordia. Now it just seems the norm. But back then, it was a pretty big deal. Oh, there you go. Well, so, so much for getting some... Look, that, that, that just totally trolled me. So, so much for getting health in the rocks. Oh, man. How you doing, Gamer Dad, by the way? Thank you for coming by. I am doing very well, man. I am just going through this list like a boss, if I do say so myself. As you can see this first level, is, oh, see, there's a few errors here, just a couple. Sean says, have I decided what games I'm doing for the 24-hour marathon? Yes, yeah, Sean, it's just a big mixture. Just a big mixture of games that I like on all consoles, my friend. I'm keeping it very, very simple because 24 hours is not easy to do, and I'm just playing the games that I like. And the games that I know you you like. So I am, I'm not going to lie, guys. I am playing it pretty safe for the 24-hour marathon. But I need to until I get used to doing them again. Because uh, I haven't done one since September, guys. Uh, or August or September. Oh, goodness. There we are. I think we're almost up to a boss around this sub-mission corner. Let's see how we go. Once again, David, thank you so much for your request. Castlevania Chronicles right here. <laughs> We've got the arranged music on here as you can hear as well. Oh, okay, yeah, got you, Robert. I would like that very, very much if you could, my friend. Now, now where's the boss? Okay, we've got the vampire bat. So it is the same first boss. Oh, I can actually reach that guy. Oh, okay, no worries. Oh boy. See, he's a little bit different to the NES version. The pattern's a bit trickier. Oh goodness. Come on, get that sunbish. Oh, come on! That wasn't really there wasn't really much finesse in that boss fight, but at least we got it. And then Chef Jonesy is waiting for me to sing I Come From The Land Down Under. You know what, Chef Jonesy? That's actually a really good idea from uh, a thank you screen, even though D-Wayne's technically got it already. I'm going to write that down as well. And uh, Zana says you're heading to bed. Good night. I'm sorry you're not up late night enough for your game, Zana, but I hope you enjoy the replay. We'll still do your game while you're away. Matthew says you've never been good at Castlevania. I'm not very good at Castlevania either, but safe states are my best friend. Let's see how we go in this level now. Cap uh, Captain BS wants to know how do I go about uh, planning for a 24-hour marathon. Dude, I just... Um, you just get a good night's sleep beforehand, a decent rest of the day beforehand as well. So you just got to make sure you're well rested. You got to make sure you have like uh, a bunch of slow release carbs to snack on during during the stream, as well as some protein. Uh, one energy drink is okay, but not too much caffeine so you don't crash. Uh, the real secret for doing a 24-hour marathon for me is just drink a shit ton of water. Like if just keep drinking water the whole time, and then that usually helps out a lot. But for me, just the, hy the hydration aspect. I think I think we'll be fine, man. We're gonna do it like a boss. Hey, go, Michael. Good to see you, Mikey. Thank you for coming in. Good to see you once again, Sean. First time I ever met Sean. Um, was actually during the VIP stream. Sean actually dropped the biggest donation in one sitting 
uh, that I've ever gotten in my whole entire life. I just want you to know, Sean, I don't want to embarrass you or anything, but I'll never forget that, my man. That was epic. <laughs> that was already two years ago. Time goes pretty quickly, huh? Thank you, Pager. I appreciate the love, man. I, I, I'm, I'm just making sure I stay calm. I play the easy games. I don't, I'm not going to play games that stress me out too much in a 24 hour stream. Because that would be stupid. So Matthew says if I played Wolfenstein on this, I have on the Super Nintendo, not the NES version though, my friend. So uh, Antonio and Lauren are going to leave, you have to head out, good night. Antonio, thank you so much brother, we'll see you again tomorrow sir. Thank you for the big 50 stars. Oh no, some, sometimes people don't like to be made a fuss of, Sean, that's all. I didn't mean to make you the centre of attention. <laughs> I just wanted you to know how appreciated you are. Oh gosh, alright, let's keep going. We ain't even halfway through this list yet, guys. Unfortunately, the next game is Papra the Map Wrapper. And the PS1 version of that game is it's just ridiculously hard. I don't think we're going to really get very far in it. But, uh, you know what, we'll humor ourselves, we'll have a laugh. A happy Mardi Gras to, to Pedro from the New Orleans. What kind of stuffs do you normally like to do on Mardi Gras? What the hell is this thing? Oh, there we go, we got some Holly Wall. That was like a little secret. I didn't even know there were secrets in this game. That's pretty cool. Josh says these graphics are clean. They really are, man. This upscale is very nice. Okay, I'm gonna jump on that. Oh, get on that, Rick! You nearly fucking fell off, and that would have been embarrassing because Simon Belmont can't swim. Jacob says you like being the center of attention. Oh, there you go. I mean, whatever works. I mean, it's in some of our personalities, huh? <laughs> See this platform here is getting a little bit thin. Oh, this is it. okay. I'm gonna save from here. You need to watch out for the knockbacks in this section too. All right, we ah, oh, dude. Here, are oh, the game just totally froze on me. Don't you even freeze on me? Don't you freeze on me? I don't want this game to start stuffing up. Oh no, you can't use save states on this. I'm going to die quickly and see if we can make that change. Okay. We can't use save states in this game, guys. So keep that in mind, alright? We're going to do this level again. No save states, otherwise this, this emulator crashes. Alright, no, no save states. I'm going to remember that. Um, uh, Sean, jeez, I don't want to forget the, I think Sean drops like, uh, 40,000 stars in the matter of one hour, <laughs> I think. Is, is that what it was, Sean? 500, so it was more than that. Sorry, man, I feel really rude now. See, I was worried I'd forget the exact total. Yeah, so unfortunately, save states don't work on this one. Oh, fuckity! What the hell? Oh, okay, let's try this again. Excuse me. Damn, I didn't, I didn't know what was... Alright, one more time. Dave, this might be a quick playthrough, unfortunately, but without save states, I'm pretty stuck. Dave says, no save states equals intimate... Yeah, no. Jeff Jonesy with the emoji... Emo... <laughs> There you go, the rage is flowing, guys. You know it's not a one-point-only stream until I have a spack attack, as, as I like to call them. <laughs> Alright, so there's a, a secret to this. We need to start jumping on the platforms once we get up. So up here. No, not there. Not yet. 
Like, so, like, from here, we're going to start jumping on the platforms. Okay. Damn, that's a... Okay, so we got this next one. All right. How you going, Garrett? It's good to see you. We got Jonathan in here as well. Oh, boss guy. All right, here we go. Mr. Mr. Freaking Dragon Man. Oh, well. Oh, okay. Don't you fall off, some bitch. Don't you fall off. Rico, don't fall off. All right, we got him. I, w I wish... Now, don't forget, guys, if you do watch the stream on YouTube, we got some brand new emotes. Unfortunately, ours haven't been approved on Facebook yet, but you can play with our stickers on YouTube. All sorts of fun stuff. Hey, go, Mel. Nice to see you back. Good to have you. All right, so at least we passed uh, two levels legit here. I mean, it's better than the kick in the head. Good night to you too, Veronica. Why are you going to bed already, Ronnie? You got to work in the morning. You're not. You're not supposed to leave me, Veronica. I thought you were my friend. How's that for a guilt trip? <laughs> you, you rollerbladed at Sonic and fell for the first time. It still kind of hurts. Yeah, man, skating's a bit of an extreme sport, my friend. I hope you're looking after yourself. Why don't you hang around for Veronica? I feel like I've done something to piss you off. What'd I do? I'll never understand the ladies. I'm always doing something to annoy them. It must just be the stupid look on my face. <laughs> Only playing. Veronica wants me to go tuck her in. You want me to read you a bedtime story as well? Oh gosh. Got new rollerblades, they just caught you off guard. Oh yeah, you have to break these things in and get used to them, huh? Hey, how you going, Tammy? Good to see you. We got the lovely Tam in here from Canada, guys. I like this music remix, actually. I recognize it from um, Castlevania 1. bit tricky this section. We're gonna try and get out of here in one piece. Damn! I just got stabby, stabby, stabby. So just one more time, guys. This is Castlevania Chronicles. And uh, we're almost done with this game, actually. We're gonna move on pretty soon. But this was David's request today. Next game is Papa the Rapper. You guys probably heard of it. It's a fun rhythm game. You can actually still buy it on PS4. time guys this is my final life I, I can't handle Castlevania today you know I've just got those days where Castlevania is all I want to play and then I've got those days in my life where I'm like oh god not Castlevania I think I think I, I think the way I'm feeling today is more of the second I don't know what Sonic is to be honest gosh no I was only in the United States for five days and most of that time was spent working, not so much doing the touristy stuff. I only, ha I, to truth be told, I only had one touristy day in the United States, and that was a trip to Salem. And you know, we had hot dogs, shopped in the game store, checked out some of the culture, that was about it really. Jason says, what's the heart for? It doesn't fill your life. Yeah, it's really weird. Castlevania, uh, the hearts don't fill your life. Uh, what they do is they're actually weapon currency. So it's it's really bizarre, I know, but that's just that's just how it works. The the hearts in this are weapon currency. Right, so 
so far so good. Oh, crap balls. Ah! Fuck you, mate! Alright, one more try. This is it. This is, I really mean it this time, David. This is my last try before I explode. This is Castlevania Chronicles Tyra on uh, PS1, my friend. How are you supposed to make this uh, thing break down like that? Alright, that's what I was trying to do. It's a food drive-in where people bring you food to your car or you go to the drive-in in a skating car hop. Oh, I mean, I've seen those before like on TV and stuff. They were like popular in the 50s and everything. My grandmother used to tell me about those where you drive up and they put the food on your windshield. Why is that not working? Fuck it, fuck, fuck. Oh, now this game is just glitched. Okay. That's, that's, ah! That's my cue to end this. Veronica, I don't have any brain cells left for a bedtime story. Okay. Once upon a time, there was a lovely little princess called Veronica. And then Ricky came along and tucked her into bed so she could sleep. And then she had a great sleep. And then Veronica lived happily ever after. There you go. There's your fucking bedtime story. Excuse me. That's a bit rude, isn't it? <laughs> nah, Veronica. I don't, I don't have any bedtime stories in my head at, at, at this second. I'll have to come up with something. All right, we gotta go to uh, we gotta go to Papa the Rapper now. Big thank you once again to Dave. This next request is going out to Jonathan, and I'm just trying to find where the file is. I got a, I've got a lot more PlayStation One games uh, than I realized, and uh, here we go. We're gonna load up this bad boy now. <laughs> And then Josh, Josh is crying on YouTube. He says, Rick, that's the most gorgeous bedtime story I've ever heard. <laughs> I love you too, Ronnie. David says he quite liked that story. Hey, Veronica says, that's a wonderful story. Probably not in those words. Kick, punch, it's all in the... Yeah. All right, here we go. So I'm going to go to the options. I think you get two levels on the easy difficulty. And uh, let's see how we go. I gotta believe! Way to go, Papa the Rapper. We're gonna go to the menu some bitch here. How many of you guys grew up playing this game? Now, uh, just one more time, guys, if you haven't done it yet. If you could please give us a big, gigantic thumbs up, guys. That'd be absolutely epic of you. Thank you. Really, really appreciate it. There we go. We've got practice mode on now. Look at the bar and press the triangle button. Uh, no. You to to do this one here, go. My bad. David says, thanks for getting the game to work. One of these days you'll pick a game that won't make you right. No, you're fine, David. David, thank you for the 200 stars. This is for you. Sorry, guys. I'm just trying to get the options working on this. <laughs> thank you for the 200 stars, my man. I'm just, I'm just trying to work out the options, guys. So let me just work out how to get this game running. The PlayStation 4 version is a little bit easier to run, but I don't have it installed. Oh, here we go. Alright, that's it. Now that should work. That should be on easy mode. Now, the, the, this, this game is kind of broken, to be honest. Because no matter how good you are with the buttons and everything, unless you're actually spot on 100% perfect, you're going to lose every single match. So anyway, we're going to do a couple games here. We're going to go to the start menu. Like, I never make a mistake. I hit every button that I'm supposed to, and I still fail. That's what's so frustrating about this. Terrence says you love Parappa. Your sister used to play this a lot, but she couldn't get past the chicken level. The furthest I got was um, on the PlayStation 4. I got up to the cooking show once, which is level 4, I think. The one after the, the market. Hey, going, Timmy? Good to see you. I'm gonna play out the cutscene. What do you say? How about if you and I go for a little walk outside, huh? Let the pups stay and eat their food. Stop it! Stop it! No need to fear. Yeah, on the normal difficulty, my friends and I were always stuck on the driving part. Hey, 
This was a game we'd play out be play before a big night on the town. This was one of the games I played when I first moved out of home. I shall put on my magic gloves of glory and shall take you on a cruise to destroy all of you. Now, let me tell you this one incident at this coffee shop in Red Hammer. I know, Mel. Oh, we We've come a long again. way since Let's this, haven't we? Bye now. Bye. Wow. Kick punch, it's all in the mind. Too. How's everyone on uh, YouTube doing at the moment? You guys all good? Hmm. But how could I possibly do that? Yeah, I know, I, I gotta know. believe! I gotta believe! I gotta believe! Alright, here we go. We've got a martial arts lesson now. Now we're gonna become tough. Welcome to the Fruits Dojo. <laughs> I trust that you are here to redeem yourself and to acquire skills that are necessary for your goals. It's like a blooming onion. Young one. That's like, uh, it's like he's got like a blooming first, onion head. Let's see if you can challenge my right, 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 right. Peyron, thank you again for the 50 stars. I'm going out to you, sir. <laughs> Appreciate that. Tommy comes in, says, how am I going? I'm going very well, man. I'm just hoping I can win. Oh, here we go. This is it. In the mind. If you wanna test me, I'm sure you'll find the things I'll teach you. Be sure to beat you. But nevertheless, you'll get a lesson from teacher. Now kick. Kick. Punch. Punch. Chop. Chop. Block. And block. Now kick. Kick. Punch. Punch. Chop. Chop. And block. And block everybody. It's gonna get rocky. We're gonna move down to the next jockey now. Top. Duck! Jump! Jump! Oh, I don't need to repeat everything. It's, it's, it's hard to time it perfect. How you going, Tommy? Good to see you there. How you been keeping, Tommy? I've never been able to get in the cool rating before. I've only ever been good. I've never made it into the I've never made it into the cool section. Like ever. Duck and turn. Duck and turn. Oh, you're about to leave for work? Oh, thank you for hanging around. Oh, this is a PlayStation 1, but you can get this on the PS4 remastered, Melissa, as well, for only about $5, I think, now. Yeah, I think you can get this for about $5 now. Oh, shit. Wait, whoops. Chop, punch, I don't know what he's saying now. Duck, duck, turn. All right, let's go. Jump, kick, chop. Jump, kick, chop. Let's go. And punch, punch, punch. And punch, punch, punch. Did I pass? The trick is to press a button actually before the icon. Oh, okay, Pedro. Well, you know what? I'm going to try. We'll see how we go with that. And Thomas says this game is about precision timing. Yeah, I know that much, but the thing is, I'm usually incredibly good at rhythm games. Like, it's usually my, uh, something I'm stronger at. Um, you've, seen, you've, seen, you've seen me play other rhythm games before, but this one I've never gotten the hang of. Ever. As I said, we're probably only going to be able to do two or three levels today. Because in the PS1 version... It's impossible to pass on, on the normal difficulty for me. So, uh, but we'll see how we go. You too, Tom. Thank you so much for coming in. Have a great sleep, my friend. I just realized it is getting pretty late in the United States. We're only, uh, well, we're only like six minutes away now, I think, from one point after dark. So, uh, yeah, thank you for sticking it out with me. And a license, too. Whoa! Check that out. That's the new yeah, I have to admit, the storyline, although it's stupid, yeah, it's not half bad, and this, like, it's entertaining. Hey, Apes, how you doing for April on YouTube this time?
You jumping on YouTube for a change? What do you think of the old YouTube? YouTube's not too bad. It's easier to get a comment Hi. in. <laughs> How do you like my new car, guys? Man, it's fat. The color is awesome, too. Not only that, it's a convertible. And it is capable of leaping tall buildings in a single bound. Would you girls like to go to the beach with me? Sure. There you go, you've got that alpha dude, the alpha course, douchebag there, and the girl's Come like, on, girl, oh, you're a hottie, I want me. you. And then Papa's like, why can't I get a girl like Miss Flower Pants over here? It's because you need some wheels, brah. Everybody, hold on. Alfonso says you're better off doing it with the beat and not the meter. I'll just have to practice behind the scenes. Good, because you're not, you're not wrong. I am relying on the meter too much. James says you only played this once and hated it, but good concept. Let me guess, so you just found it much too difficult? That seems to be most of our problems, James. How you going, Steven? Good to see you once again, Steve. Oh, I tried to do Ungemma Le Lemmy for our friend Sky on whatever Wednesday, but I couldn't get it working. Yeah, he might be over. Uh, he might be over compensating Terence for a small PP size. Harder than you think it is. If you think you can handle, try this rap. There we go. We're gonna rap with the moose, guys. Let's do it. This is a, this is this is fun. This is catchy as. Step, step on the gas. Step on the brakes. Step on the brakes. Now step on the gas. Now step on the gas. When I say boom, 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 you say bam, bam, bam. No pause in between. Come on, let's jam. Step on the gas. Step on the gas. Step on the brakes. Step on the brakes. Step on the brakes. Step on the brakes. Step on the gas. Check and turn signals to the right. All right, there you go. Oh, whoops! <laughs> I screwed that one up. Do you know why we stop the car? Yes. What? Do you know why we stopped the car? Yes. Guess what? what? I to close. Oh, that's no good. You to close the door. You're supposed to be the driving instructor, dickhead. Mm. <laughs> that was not good. What kind of instructor are you? You're probably the same one that gave me my license. Step on the gas now, turn to the left. Alright. Step on the brakes. Do you know why we stopped the car again? I hope it's because I've got my license. Yes! We did it! <laughs> awesome! Alright, we got it guys, we got it! We did it! Timothy's Ricky, have a great rest of your stream, but you think you're gonna head to bed? No, I understand, Timmy, you gotta get that sleep, man. Thank you for hanging out, I hope it's been entertaining. We'll see you again next time. I, I'm just, I'm absolutely stoked here that we passed two levels. Hopefully we'll get the third one. I want to do the, I want to do the Bob Marley rap next. All right, cool. So we do get one more level. All right, awesome. I, th I think three stages and this is enough anyway. The next game we got is uh, Sonic Chaos for Tom on the Master System. I've never played that game before, so that's going to be interesting. Interesting games on the list today, guys. There's not really too many I'm worried about, except for uh, Zana's Earthworm Jim 3D. Now, Zana always makes good picks. I'm just not a big fan of Nintendo 64. I should have given it to D-Wayne. <laughs> That's a D-Wayne game. D-Wayne, you like Earthworm Jim, right? No, it's alright, Kai. 
I'm just, I'm just bringing my inner child out today, I think, hey. I, I like games like this that have that kind of, like, innocence to them, you know? Kind of makes you forget about the big bad world for a little minute. Wouldn't it be nice if we could keep driving and go someplace far, far away? Yeah, no, there was actually a video game that inspired me to be a DJ, but this was not it. Um, do you guys remember Beat Mania on PS1? I used to play Beat Mania over and over and over and over and over. And, uh, yeah, as I said, if there was one video game that inspired me to be a DJ, uh, it, it was Beat Mania, 100%. 100%. How you going there, Jordan? Good to see you. Thank you for coming in. I wish I still had my copy of Beat, Beat Mania cool. in the turntable. I, I sold it, unfortunately. What's happening, Jordan? Oh no, Pepper the Rapper just stuffed up. Your yeah, date's not going too well, is it? How you going, Espen? Good to see you today. It's a shame, because in the West, we only got one Beat Mania game, but they released, like, so many of them in Japan. I gotta believe. Also, oh, One Handed Media says that Beat Mania was also one of the games in Spike. Man, it's crazy, isn't it? Beat Mania was such a cool game back in the day. I want to get. A, I want to buy a copy off eBay again now. They're probably really expensive. Jordan says, just relaxing after a long day at work. You come to the right place, man. We're all here for just good laughs and good times and giggles and all that kind of thing. Yeah, oh my goodness, you know, you know, um, you know my opening theme song, Aaron? The opening theme song was actually made on EJ Dance. The opening theme that I created for this channel was actually made on uh, EJ Dance. So how's that for a coincidence, Aaron? <laughs> got the got the funky flow. Got the got the funky flow. All right, cool. This is actually pretty hard. This is actually pretty hard. Remember, strike it rich, the key is low. See if everybody from way up above. I can sell a bottle cap like this. I'm doing terrible at this one. I will try to sell a cap like this. I'll never dream it would be like this. Matt says AEW is really good tonight. I'll have to check the highlights later. I hope I don't lose this one. Oh gosh. How am I passing? I am playing on the easy mode though. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Mega Man X18 says it sounds like Shoggy. It does sound like Shoggy. Everyone likes Shaggy. According to Stewie Griffin. Oh, whoops. <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> I'll be right with you guys. That's the way for rapper. You got that right, teacher. All right, there we go. We passed that. I think that's the end of uh, the easy mode, unfortunately, guys. Or do we get another stage? Hey, if we could do another. You know what? We might get another level here. We'll have to see. Maybe that is the end. Let's have a look. Double checking. What what happened? Hang on. 
No, yeah, and unfortunately guys in easy mode you only get three levels and I can't get that far if I play on the normal difficulty So that's all we can uh, do today in that one guys that is Papa the Rapper done Jonathan Thank you very much for an awesome request today, man. That was a lot of fun I think three songs is enough anyway. I had such a hell of a good time on that We're gonna uh, load up a master system game now guys and uh, we got Sonic uh, Chaos on master system and uh, this is going out to my friend, Tommy. I can finally uh, concentrate on the comments again. Now that I don't have to focus on the rhythm. Vanessa says you want to rap when you're a teenager. If you like to rap, you should continue rapping, Vanessa. You don't have to be a superstar, just do it for a hobby. And, uh... Yeah, I know, I, I love the one-liners sometimes. Hey, Aaron. <laughs> Oh, here we go. So, Sonic Chaos. I've never played this before. Oh, you know what? We'll play as Tails. We'll give Tails some love today. And, uh, I don't know. I'm guessing this is a standalone Sonic game that's not a part of the actual franchise. Let's see. Just looks like a regular Sonic game here. I'll tell you what. In most of these Master System games, the graphics still hold up. Like, for an 8-bit system, these look beautiful. But uh, the one weakness of the Master System console, I think, was the sound chip. Like, the sound just gets really freaking annoying after a while. But the game itself was great. Alphonse, a Rick Rage trigger, lack of rhythm. <laughs> Something like that. Let's see how we go here. One, one headed media says, Is Master System like the Sega? You don't think you had that in the US? You did. But it was not very popular in the US. It was incredibly popular in Europe and Australia, however. But this, the Master System came out before the Mega Drive. This was out at the same time as the NES. Uh, for those of you who don't know this console. Alright, let's see how we go here. I mean, it just looks like your regular old Sonic game. This is actually pretty fun. I'm enjoying this. So, Captain BS says, you remember playing this one or something similar to this on the Sonic Collection you have on PS2? I've actually got Sonic uh, 2 in, you know, um, I've actually still got my Sega Master System in box. And, and most Master Systems came in, in built with a game called Alex Kid and Miracle World. But mine actually got in built with the, uh, Sonic 2, which is really weird. No, that's okay, One Handed Media. And Theo says, if I played Sonic Mania, yeah, I think that's more of a D-Wayne game, but I have tried it on a VIP stream. And everyone in there was like, oh, Rick, you should leave the Sonic games to D-Wayne, because you suck. And I'm like, yeah, I'm totally aware that this is a, a, a D-Wayne game. <laughs> I, need, I need to find some more rings. But no, Sonic Mania is really, really good. I've, I've got it on the, the, the PS4. Gosh, I can't stand the music on this version, though. It's the only thing that's killing me. Anyway, we're going to get through this for about 15 minutes. Hopefully, we'll get a boss battle here soon. Oh, gosh. We're almost on 150 likes as well, guys. Your engagement's been amazing today. We've been on for about, what, uh, just over two hours? And uh, we are officially just over halfway through this list. After this, we still got about seven games to go. And eight, technically, actually, because I think we're going to do a uh, another game for Joshy. So we're probably going to be here for another two, two and a half hours, guys. So uh, if you've got nowhere to be, we got you covered. It's been a, a really, really good whatever Wednesday uh, request list this week, too, guys. So, uh... Thank you for giving us uh, games that have been enjoyable as well. You know, D Wayne and myself appreciate that. You don't always have to give us ragey stuff. Also, Andrew Nutt says this game was also released on the Game Gear in the US. Oh, yeah, no, I used to have the Game Gear with the Master System Converter. It was one of my pride and joys. I, I wish I kept it. No, I haven't actually, Matt. And One Handed Media says, did my uh, stomach feel better after the food challenge yesterday? Yeah, as you guys know, after beat it or eat it, um, yeah, I had the, <laughs> I had the chicken meal milkshake, but I'm feeling okay. Am 
I supposed to hit this sunbish? Am I just supposed to hit him on the head like that? Okay, we're just gonna try and hit him on the head. Oh crap! Am I hitting? Am I hit, supposed to hit him on the head or the backside? Maybe it's the backside I'm supposed to hit him on. I don't know. Am I, am I hitting him in the right spot? Okay, we are. Couldn't tell. I have heard that tomato juice is what gets rid of a skunk smell, but I don't know if that's a wife's tale or not. Good night to you too, Melissa. Cold and tight over here. Have a good one. Melissa, thank you so much for uh, hanging out with us today. Once again, big shout out to our friends at Kitten Heart Gaming. David says, can you spin dash in this game? I don't think so, but I'll give it a try. Oh, you can spin dash in this game. How about that? Shows what you freaking know, Rick. Oh, thank you for letting me know, Nick. I'll have to check that out. Oh. Back of I'm here. Now, don't forget, once Whatever Wednesday is done, I may be coming back on with a late night stream. Not 100% sure what I'm going to do yet. I'm going to work something out. Just giving you a heads up that I'm planning on coming back. You might have to ask on Facebook. I don't think anyone on YouTube's seen it, Matt. Oh, okay. Probably don't want to hang around on the spikes for too long. Ah. <laughs> Terrence says, Tails never fails. I mean, that's an exp... That, that's, a, that's a pretty silly expression, but it's one that we say over here quite often. Hey, Marky. Hey, we've got Marky Mark in here. Good to see you, Mark. We're smashing this. We've already done four levels, guys, in, what, five minutes? They're not too big, are they? Marky, I'm having a good night, brother. What have you been up to? This is actually a really fun Sonic game. I, I do I do feel like 8-Bit Sonic doesn't quite feel the same as what it does on Sega Genesis, but, uh... I mean, if all you had was a Master System back in the day, this is perfectly acceptable. There's nothing wrong with it. This is definitely... This, it's definitely an enjoyable game. The controls are very, very, uh... Very, very good. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think the gen uh, I don't I don't think the Master System version has blast processing. That's the catch. I, I kind of do miss my blast processing, but what are you going to do? That's what Retro Y always says. Tails never fails. It's, it's it's a fun expression, isn't it? Marky Mark says he's uh, eating some dinner and watching some amazing video game streams. If I'm included in that, I'll take it as a huge compliment. Thank you, sir. I want to thank uh, Mr. Headlock Gaming himself, D Wayne, for a great stream earlier as well. He, he had some uh, harder games than me today, I think. No worries, Marco. I'll see you again tomorrow, brother. Thank you again for an awesome request. Marco had uh, Duck Hunt today. He had a good old time with that bad boy. There you go, so what's this? Oh, at least we're going to see at least two boss battles today, so that's kind of cool. So what did I say was after this? Oh, Mickey Mouse Castle of Illusion on Genesis. You guys are going to love that one. We actually did a full play of that pretty recently. I might, I might have to do my, uh, what is it, my speed dash here. There we are. This is the boss over here already. Man, that was the quickest level in history. Alright. You know what, this boss... I think Nintendo actually stole this boss. Nintendo totally stole this boss. Do you guys remember, um... I don't know if you guys have played, uh... New Mario Brothers on... Oh my goodness, have you guys played the New Mario Brothers? Uh, on the Wii U and Switch? If you, the, the, the boss at the end of level 2 is exactly the same as this. This is crazy. Nintendo totally copied this boss. Nintendo, you're not fooling anybody. Yeah, this, 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 this was a... Oh my gosh. Nintendo, you're a copycat. Uh, you, 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 been, you just got got, Nintendo. Cease or desist, mate. Cease or desist. Freaking Nintendo and they're cheating. 
Oh my gosh. You, you, Honkers, she would have, you'd remember this boss if you're still in. Farkadee, excuse me. Oh, we got, dude, how long until we beat this guy? I need to hold on to this final. Farkadee! Gotta hold on to this last coin for dear life. Got it, one more. Come on, you sumbish. Oh, right, that's it. Go, dude! Give me my coin back! Oh, Farkadee. Excuse me. Get him over here. Come on, he's gotta almost be dead. What are you doing? No, fuck off! Oh, right, we got him. Oh, goodness, I'm stressing out a bit too much. <laughs> I, I get a little bit too emotionally involved in these uh, video games, can you tell, guys? Oh, gosh. What's everyone up to with their Thursday, anyway? What are you guys... Who's working and who's got the day off? Who, who's lucky enough to sleep in the cold weather? I tell you what, I wouldn't mind if you pass some of this uh, cold weather our direction now. Uh, you know, pass it our way. I'd say no. I wouldn't say no. Okay, no, that's not that we don't. Well, what are we gonna do over here? Is there is there actually a point to this? <laughs> I don't think so. Oh, that's so totally random. Where's that little springy thing? Oh, okay, we're not going up that way then. Kevin says he's gonna... Ah! Kev says he's gonna go back to work. This is being stupid. Yeah, David says he wants us to trade the hot weather for the cold weather. Yeah. Money Matt says, can I play this game in the supporter stream someday? You like this game? I'll think about it, Matt. It's not too bad. The only thing that's kind of ah, oh! the only thing that's kind of driving me nuts about this game is the music's a bit subpar. But apart from that, I think it's pretty solid. There we go. We made it up here. Lauren says he's working now as usual. Yeah, I know you're always at work, my friend. I hope you can. Oh wait, we got like a little pogo stick. No worries. Now what? How do we get out of here? Oh, no worries, just took the hit. Is there like a little jumpy jumpy? Oh, okay, it's a hidden... And Darren says, you don't hot weather, no thanks. Not into the hot weather. Oh, gosh. Oh, that's one done. <laughs> One-handed meteor says you can have all that snow and we'll have the... I don't even know how to pronounce half those words. I'm starting to feel really stupid now, one-handed media. You can't use big words in a one-coin-only stream. I've burned too many brain cells from uh, a career of a decade and a half that involved drinking a lot of beer. <laughs> I know, Kyle. It's just like... Um, when you play enough video games every week... You notice what game stole what, and vice versa. It's, you know, it's just, uh, it's amazing what you notice when you play video games all the time, you know. Hey, you going, Dante? It's nice to see you. Far oh, back it, eh? Can I, can I roll down that way, perhaps? Oh, no, we can. We just got to roll down there. All right. Now what? No, oh, that didn't work out, did it? Oh, gosh. This, I'm kind of... I'm almost sick of this one now, Tom. I was enjoying it, and it's a fun game. I think it's just one of those days where I'm not in a sonic mood. David, thank you, man. David says he's taking his booty cheeks to bed. David, this one's going out to you. Where's my golden throat charmer at? We're going to find out. Here it is, sir. David, thank you for coming in today. <laughs> Have a good sleep, David. I really appreciate you, my man. We got Clarence in here. Clarence, thank you for hanging out. It's been a little minute. Always good to see you, Clarence. What's happening, my friend? Amongst many other things in that whole EDM scene. Oh, yeah. It was probably the first half of my DJ career I did the most damage because that's actually when I... I guess you could say I toured. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I was DJing up to six nights a week back then. And, uh, yeah... I, I, I think 2008, there probably wasn't many week days where I was actually not drunk, as bad as that sounds. 
How you going? We got Sandblaster Gaming on YouTube. Good to see you. Oh, I, I'm sorry, one-handed media. I didn't mean to. I didn't know that's what it meant. My apologies, my friend. I'm sorry you're going through all that. Yeah, I know a lot of people with. Yeah, I feel you. Just like arthritis and everything as well, right? David says YOLO. Well, I mean... <laughs> yeah, that's one way of looking at it. I think we're almost up to this boss fight, guys. So what we'll do is we'll do this boss fight, and then we'll move on to the next game. Tom, thank you for an awesome request. We managed to get uh, nine levels done today. So uh, I hope that's a job well done for you. I don't have Angel Tears loaded up right now, unfortunately, Payron, but I'll put that back up eventually. Payron, this is for you. Don't don't forget, guys, I've got now 200 plus thank you screens, and I, I can't fit them all on the stream window anymore, so I have to rotate tape between the ones that I'm using and the ones I'm not using. But uh, I'll bring some Angel Tears back for you eventually, Payron, don't you worry. He's gonna keep jumping on this sunbish's head. This is easier in the last boss, at least. He's not really causing me too much trouble right now. Oh, there we go. We got that was an easy boss. Just like that, my friends. That is three stages done. Payron says you can't believe that song is still awesome. I don't care what anyone thinks. <laughs> I need to play Sonic X. What Sonic EXE? What what's that one? Chris says you wish Facebook would give you a free 2,000 stars. Wow! Okay, that's an interesting question. What's the most free stars in one hit that Facebook's given anyone? Um, I'm curious, because I've never been given more than 50 or 100 free stars from Facebook before, so I'm kind of curious. Um, Alright, so we're going to do Mickey Mouse Castle of Illusion next. Thank you so much for your request uh, once again, Tom. So here we go, Mickey Mouse Castle of Illusion. Uh, this is for Gareth. Big shout out to our boy Gareth. I hope Gareth is still in here. He might be sleeping. So Chris actually got given two... Th wow. Wow. That, that, yeah, wow. That is, that's a lot of stars, man. Same, just 50 to 100. Okay, so we're going to try and get a couple levels done in this. As you guys probably remember, I did do a long play of this recently. Yeah, absolutely. We got through nine levels, so it was a very decent... Uh, no, it's okay, Crimson. Good to have you. We, we got through nine levels and three bosses. We actually did really well in that game. No, that's okay, Chris. No problem. <laughs> we, we, um... Facebook used to give incentives for streamers, where if you streamed 30 plus hours a week, you'd be gold tier and you'd get more free stars than anyone. But then they removed those incentives. And, uh, boo Facebook. <laughs> but we used to get a lot more free stars than, than, than what we do now because of Facebook's program. Oh, okay, I got you, Steve. Anyway, it's all good. Stars or no stars, as I always tell you guys, I'm happy to be here. But thank you to everyone who has sent them. You want me to play Sonic 06? I'd rather not. Can we not? Da da da. I love the music. Isn't it just nice? It's very Disney, this game. Is there a, is there a run button in this game? There isn't, is there? I can't remember if there's a run button or not. Alfonso says the only Disney game you've beaten is Kingdom Hearts. I've never played Kingdom Hearts game, but now with the new collection coming out with all 10 games, it might be the time to start considering it. Hey, I'll definitely be getting the collection. And then Vanessa says that Mickey Mouse face makes you want to punch him. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Probably. Oh, there we go. That's part one. Clarence says, am I going to do a late night stream tonight? I'm still going to be here for whatever Wednesday for quite a while, but most likely, I just don't know what I'm playing for the late night yet. But, uh, I'll, I'll come up with something. Fuck it, eh! I'll come up with, sorry. 
Okay, I'm such an angry guy, aren't I? I'll come up with sp Ah! Grab on the rope, Mickey, you spastic mouse! Oh my gosh. Hey, thank you, Mega Man X18 just dropped a massive $3 super chat on YouTube. Thank you so much, Mega Man. Hell yeah. And uh, what are we going to give to Mega Man X? We're going to look... Hot diggity dog, sir. Hot diggity dog. Hot diggity dog. This kind of thing that just tickles my balls. Holy crap. That's basically an indication on how happy I am for those $3. Uh, thank you very much, Mega Man. Bless you, my, my friend. That's awesome. <laughs> I just love that star screen, hey? Good old... Ah, damn! We're going to get back over I'm here now. Okay, we're gonna get chased by a big gigantic rock. Kevin says that collection came out before Kingdom Hearts 3. No, there's a collection with all 10 games. Apparently, there's a collection coming out this month of all 10 Kingdom Hearts games. That's what I've been told. I don't know anything about it, but someone told me all 10 games are coming out in one collection, and I'll be like, that'd be pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm, lo I'm looking into it. April says I just frightened your cat all. Well, that's not good, is it? I don't, I don't want to scare pets. That didn't work out for a stay. Oh, dude, we have to go back this way again. Alright, let's start again. <laughs> and Jonathan says have I ever played Little Nemo on the PS2? Oh, not for a long time. Not, not for a long time, my friend. And Maddie with another 50 stars. It's funny, you went to Applebee's last week. They were playing Party All The Time by Eddie Murphy. It's a classic song, man. You can't get better than that. You gotta dance in life, Matt, like no one's watching. <laughs> Thank you, Maddie. I appreciate those 50 stars, bro. I really like that party all the time. I didn't know about the Eddie Murphy version at first. Um, but when I started DJing, they actually had a really good, like, electro EDM version back in 2005. And and that's when I started getting into the, the song. They actually remade it for dance clubs. It holds up, guys. That, that song's still pretty relevant. Oh, you mean... I don't think that was a Disney game, though. Ne I, no, you mean Nemo the Dream Master. I don't think that's a Disney game though, is it? I know Capcom did it. Yes, I've played Nemo the Dream Master. That's what we call a D-Wayne game. You know, that, that that's a, that's a D-Wayne game. I wonder what D-Wayne's doing now. I think he's busy. He's, he's probably being champion of the universe right now, Mortal Kombat. You, you know what D-Wayne does. You know, to, to, to us, uh, Mortal Kombat's a game. To D-Wayne, it's a religion. I'm kind of jealous. I wish I found a game I liked that much. <laughs> Actually, to be honest, there are games I like that much, but they're not the ones that people want to watch. I could I could stream the Yakuza series all day long forever, but it doesn't get a lot of traction. Too much talky talky. You know you know what one coin's like with the talky talky games on the channel. Oh, there we go. We got out of here. All right, we made it. This is a longer level than I remember. We're almost up to this boss, guys. No, fair enough. I've got them on the PS3. I've got one and two on the PS3, but I did get them on sale. So, uh, yeah, we'll see. There we go. The next. Hopefully, we're almost up to the boss. Did Kevin says I call everything a D-Wayne game because it is, mate. Am I? Do I lie about these things? I don't think so. Oh gosh. Take that, you evil mother bish tree. This is like that tree on what? The Return to Oz, I think it is. Did any of you guys watch The Return to Oz growing up? You know, you had that, what was it? That Julie Garland Wizard of Oz movie, which was all rainbows and lollipops. And then you had Return to Oz as a kid, which was like a horror movie. That was a scary movie, man. So much in that creeped me out. <laughs> Thank you, Lauren. 
This is supposed to be a game for kids. It's pretty hard. <laughs> you, you, you just can't plan these things, Kai, unfortunately. They just come out naturally, my brother. You never know when the rage is going to strike. It could, You know, the funny thing when I rage, it can sometimes be over the littlest thing or something really big. You just never know when it's going to happen. I'm kind of... The way I explain it, guys, is I'm kind of like a big glass of water. And then I just, you know, you never know when I'm full, filled to the top. You know, I'll just start it. I'll just explode out of nowhere. I'm really unhinged. I should probably get some help. April, you want to be my therapist? I, I can sit in your couch and I can tell you about how all these games just drive me nuts. David says maybe I'm playing this on the high difficulty that I remembered from last time. Uh, no, because the last time I played through this game was a Master System version, and, and the Master System version of this is a lot easier. The, ge the Genesis is, is a lot more challenging. It's still fun, though. I dig it. And Josh says you couldn't beat this as a kid. I couldn't even beat the, the Master System version as a kid. The only time I played the Genesis version was at the mall. I, I, I didn't have this one on Sega. <coughs> April says, okay, but you charge by the hour. Of course you do. <laughs> and then Sandblaster Gaming says, you want to see how fast we can get Rick to Rage playing Elmo's Adventures in Numbers? There we go. Well, that's, that's at least a proper kids game, right? Damn it, I don't know how to get up here. Okay, so I think I ought to wait for him to get back down. Oh, dude, really? I've only got, like, one hit point left, guys. Is a pro oh, fuck it, hey! Fuck it, hey! Excuse me. Get back down from ya! Oh, I'm gonna save over here. Josh said, oh, Master System um, was the 8-bit Sega. And it was great. I mean, back in Australia in the day, you could get this for, like, $90. $90 Australian, and uh, you'd get the Master System with an inbuilt game, and also a copy of Altered Beast, which was pretty shithouse on Master System, actually. But uh, Alex Kidd was worth the price of admission. I'm hoping we're still going the right way here, guys. I'm a little bit stuck. This game is really cute, isn't it, Remy? Another one of those games with a touch of innocence, huh? I think we're almost out of here. Wow. Move, you stupid little jack-in-the-box thing! Oh my gosh! Oh. I hope we're almost at the top. Don't worry, once we get this key all the way at the top, we'll slide down very quickly. Damn! Maddie with another 50 stars! I don't think I'm gonna go to Applebee's on Thursday anymore because they don't have karaoke anymore. Because people started fighting even though it's half after nine. Damn, man. I mean, the biz must be flowing at an early hour over there. This is going out to you, Maddie. Thank you so much. Show me the money, Matt. Well, you did show me the money. It's a very generous 50 stars. Thank you, brother. So, all right, here we go. Here's the key. So this is just going to send me all the way back down to the bottom. And then to the exit. So the, getting back down at least is a lot of fun. Getting up, however, is not. <laughs> Very nice, Kai. Alright, so we'll try and do another couple levels. Once again, this game is going out to our brother Garrett. Thank you so much. The next game, I don't know how long we're going to be playing the next game for, David, because I feel like it's a troll request. Uh... But our next game is uh, Popeye Volleyball. How about that, guys? Popeye had a volleyball game. I guess you learn something new every day, huh? Popeye had a Sunfish Volleyball game. How am I supposed to get through here? I'll throw some apples, Rick. All right, we got it. So far, so good.
And Sandblasted Gaming says Popeye had a volleyball game, apparently on the Game Gear. Uh, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I have to admit, I'm not too optimistic because it's on the Game Gear. I mean, don't get me wrong, there's some great Game Gear games, but I'm not confident that a Popeye volleyball game is really going to cut the mustard, as I say. <laughs> yeah, man, a Popeye volleyball game. I don't really know if I want to look at all, of, all half naked in her glorious 8-bit glory, but uh, hey, you know what? Curiosity killed the cat. Let's do this. Davo says on easy, this game is three levels and they're real short. Yeah, same with the Master System version too. But we're playing this legitimately today. Damn it, I'm out of balls. Actually, that sounded real wrong. Not those kind of balls, everyone. Alright, we got this. Matthew says Popeye volleyball was terrible. What, you've actually played it or are you just assuming? You actually played it, have you? Well, go figure. Oh, okay. We found some bish. Hoping we'll get up to at least another another boss here for Garen. I think the boss should be at the end of this level. So, yeah. After this level, Gareth, we're probably going to have to move on. But uh, thank you so much for uh, the trip down memory lane, man. This game is pretty awesome. Alfonso says, you remember Dead or Alive had a volleyball game? Uh, I wonder how much that costs to order off eBay. By the way, speaking of Dead or Alive uh, 6, next week, guys, hopefully, uh, I'll be playing that after Combat of the Immortals. I have just ordered a copy of Dead or Alive 6 uh, from eBay, so it's on the way. I ordered it today. So uh, we're going to be doing Dead or Alive on the channel as well. And uh, I know, I know, uh, Remy, I think, did it, or you did it already as well, didn't you, Panda? But, you know, I kind of want to get into my fighting games again. I don't know, I don't know, I mean, it, I think it's just something about the Aussie accent, Kai, because I'm just being my goofy self. <laughs> Timmy with the 100 stars, good to see you, Timmy. Are you at home or are you at work at the moment? Timmy, this is for you. Thank you for the 100 stars, Timmy. Appreciate that. Alfonso wants to know if Charlie Brown ever had a game. I have a funny feeling he did, but if, if he did... Oh, I don't think Charlie Brown specifically had his own video game, but for memory, there was a couple Snoopy games on Game Boy and stuff, I think. So I, I know there's been Snoopy games. I, I, I don't, don't think... Uh, Charlie Brown game so much. Yeah, Lauren just said Snoopy has some games, and so did Kenneth, yeah. S Snoopy had some games. I don't remember any uh, Charlie Brown games, though. Damn, yeah, man, this is a hard area, dude. Oh, fuck it, man! <coughs> How about DOA Extreme Beach Volleyballs? You know what, I'm going to see if I can get it working on the emulator. Alright, I'm just supposed... Am I supposed to hit jump, run, jump up here, maybe? I don't know how to do it. Hey, Russ, good to see you. Thank you for coming in. I'm just trying to pass this Sunbish level, man. Oh, that's it. You're going to press the opposite direction. Okay, now I understand. I've got this, guys. Hopefully this is almost the end. I need some health. So we'll sort of understand what we're going to do here now. Okay, so we're going to hit this. Alright. Is, is this the exit yet? Where's the exit? So, so how am I supposed to get out of there, you son bitch? Is there like a slide button or something? How am I supposed to get out of there? This game is being stupid. Oh no, we gotta jump around. Yeah, no, I'm just, um... Yeah, I think it'd be cool. How you going, Darren? Good to see you. Sorry, man, I didn't see you sneaking in there. Quickly, uh, we, you know, one, one extra hit point will be good. Alright, let's do this final boss, guys. Darren, I'm doing pretty good, thank you, man. We're just gonna do this final boss battle here, and then we're gonna move on to, uh... Popeye Volleyball, God, God, may, may God have mercy on us. 
Oh, my volleyball, ladies and gentlemen. Where am I supposed to hit him? Oh, like this, on the head. Oh, there we go. That's one. Okay, let's try this again with the full health. One more try. Absolutely, Joshy. This is a very kind request from Gareth today. We're just going to beat this boss. Jumpy, jumpy boss here. Not today, bro. Not today. Oh, you missed him, frackin' Mickey, you idiot. Aha, uh -huh, aha. Uh -huh. I missed him. And now, come on, Mickey. Get on his big fat head. I think we need to hit him like four times. Oh, damn it. Mickey's been a total sunbish today. There we go. Come on, you big jumpy, jumpy nutcase. Duck! No, duck. Not today, bro. Not today. Jumpy, jumpy, jumpy. There you go. That's number three. He's gone red. He's getting pissed off now. Not today, bro. Not today. At least it's a pretty high. Oh, come on. On his head. All right, one more. Duck. Come on. We're going to get you, you stupid little... Jumpy thing. What is this thing called anyway? Alright, we got him. Oh, gosh. There you go. We did it, guys. That was two levels of Mickey Mouse Castle Illusion. That was almost 20 minutes, actually. Those levels are quite long. Thank you very much, Gareth. We're going to have to move on from there, man. But thank you for an absolutely awesome request. As I said, most requests today have been pretty good, guys. It's been a nice break from all the... The, the monstrosities you normally send me, so I appreciate that. But don't forget, guys, whatever Wednesday is a show for you, and if monstrosities are what you want to send me, then that's your prerogative. I can't do anything about it. So, but today has been really good. We're going to do pop Popeye. Okay, so we've got Popeye Beach Volleyball here. All right, let's see how we go with this one. Yeah, Dave, it's like a jack-in-the-box clown hybrid. Here we go, Popeye Beach Volleyball. Well, now I've seen everything. No worries, Kevin. We'll see you next time, man. Thank you so much for coming in. All right, Popeye Beach Volleyball. Now, David, if this is... this, I'm warning you, Dave, if this game is balls, you're getting the five-minute treatment. And we're going to put it on easy. And we're going to actually go to one set. First of five points, because I want to try and make some headway in this as... Uh, quick as we can. Alright, so Popeye Beach Volleyball. Let's see how we go. <laughs> so who are we going to do? Partner Select. Olive Oil. There you go, guys. I never thought you'd ever see uh, Olive Oil naked, but here we go. Okay, thank you, Sandblaster Gaming. Sandblaster Gaming says apparently there are... Um, Oh, I see. Let's try this again. No, apparently there are, um... Wow. Really, Dave? Okay, well, that didn't work yet. Let's go. Let's go, Bluto. Get up. Get back up. Fuck it, hey! Oh, my gosh. I'm trying to work out these buttons. Oh, my goodness. Okay, we'll work it out. Pop, pop, pop. Oh my god, fuck it! Hey! Damn it, I'm pressing the. Alright, I'm gonna. Ah! I'm gonna start again one more time. I'm getting used to the buttons. Oh, there we go, we did it. There you go, big spike. Lauren says Winky is a better choice. Yeah, but I wanted to see naked olive oil. I'm just kidding, that's not why I picked her. You know, I just saw Popeye olive. Anyway, whatever. <laughs> David says you've never seen this game before and yet you requested it. You might- Ah! This is supposed to be on the easy difficulty! Ryan says he best pop- There we are, we did that. Come on, Rick Dog. Hit- Alright, cool, you did it, Popeye, you did it. Damn, we get some random ass games here on whatever Wednesday, don't- Oh, Olive, what are you doing?! You know what, Olive is, it doesn't look like she's ever been to the beach a day in her life, quite honestly. Damn it! We did it. Well done, Popeye. Oh, damn it. I'm so sucky at this, really. 
Come on, we'll do better this time. Come on, Rick, just score at least once, mate. Oh, come on, Olive. All right. Yeah, this is probably going to get the five-minute treatment today. Fucking seriously, David, I'm going to ban you from making whatever Wednesday requests eventually. Where did Popeye go? Oh, come on, where the fuck was Popeye? Popeye was off having a beer and leaving Olive. Wow! Popeye was off having a beer, leaving... Far oh, fuckity, really? That's it. I'm trying one more time. Poor Olive was left there doing the work. Popeye was off at the pub having a beer. Dude! Ah! Oh my gosh. That's it. I'm after this game. We're out of here, David. You... Oh, now... Oh, oh my gosh! Ah, oh, I can't handle this much more than a couple more points. Yeah, Popeye was like, yeah, screw this, I'm done. Oh my gosh, hit the ball! Red Horse Beer, yo! Good to see you, Rich. Plug, plug! Big shout out once again to our friends, obviously, Ian Taoyao Gaming. Sponsored by Red Horse Beer, apparently the best beer in the Philippines. Hope to try it one day. Jacob says, come on, Ricky, eat some spinach. This game is a Fuckity mess! Oh, here we go. We go. Oh, Popeye, stop having a sleep! Popeye had too much beer at the pub. Timmy with a hundred stuff. Thank you so much. I wish there was a. Fuckity! Alright, oh, that's it. That's the game, I think. And there you go. Beep! This is on easy difficulty, and we're. Ah! I've got a new volleyball game on my Olympics game that I just got imported from Japan. I'll show you a real volleyball game later. Oh my gosh! That's it. I am done with this, David. Thank you, not thank you. That was Popeye on the freaking... Oh my gosh, David. We, we, we are seriously not friends. Timmy, this is for you. Thank you very much, Timmy. <laughs> Oh my gosh, there you go. That was officially the troll game for today, guys. Let's see what we got next. We got River Raid from Colin. Now, this is an Atari 2600 game. Uh, the next game we're playing is probably the best game with the... Oh, I accidentally loaded E.T. Look at that. Look at that. We've accidentally got E.T. loaded. Speaking of troll games... What up, E.T.? Oh, look, I fell back down the fucking hole again. Well, no, we're not playing E.T. Forget it. We're playing... <laughs> We're playing River Raid. As I said, this is a, a request for our friend Colin. This is a great game. This is a classic along with games like uh, Pitfall and uh, Yars Revenge. It's in that league. It's really, really good. And, uh, oh my gosh. Yeah, I got the Tokyo Olympics video game, Matt. It's actually pretty good. The only bad thing about the Tokyo Olympics video game uh, is the servers are kind of dead. Uh, it's very hard to get an online match, because especially since it hasn't been released in the West yet. But I think once it gets a Western release in a couple months, uh, there may be a lot more online stuff. So we'll see how we go. But here we go, we got River Raid. We're going to play this for Colin today. And here we go. River Raid. It's about surviving for as long as you can, I guess. How many of you guys played this growing up? Anyone else experience with this bad boy? Uh, the Olympics game is really good. I'm enjoying it very much. I wish there was a few more events, uh, but with each additional up update, they've been bringing out new events with updates. Uh, so it's pretty good. It's pretty expensive, though. Wait till it's on sale. So this one's gone out to Colin. So Nightmare13 says River Raid was an example of a good Atari game. It really was. There we go. We've moved... Oh, fuck, man. I'm starting to loot... There it's... Oh, gosh! I wasn't paying attention. Okay, one more time. I'm going to actually restart because I had a terrible start. Let's do this again. Is breakdancing on there? No, um... I'll tell you the games I remember on the new Olympics games game. As I said, it's going to get released in the United States. So be on the lookout for it. Now, the reason the new Olympics games game is so good uh, is because all the games are, are done by Sega and Cryware. 
So it's got that really fun, like, arcadey, instant fun kind of, you know, very basic but very fun controls about it. And uh, you've got the 100 meters, you've got like the 110 meters hurdles, you've got long jump, you've got hammer throw, uh, you've got the 100 meter freestyle, you've got the 200 meter medley in the pool, um, you've got judo, you've got rock climbing, you've got BMX, uh, you've got football, you've got uh, rugby, uh, you've got basketball, you've got tennis, you've got table tennis. Uh, what other games are on this Olympics package? Did I say hammer throw yet? Um, I wish they had other events, like they, should, they, uh, they, they should have like javelin and pole vault and things like that and high jump. Those events aren't included, which kind of disappointed me. Uh, we're getting the 4x100 relay uh, in the next update, which is in April, so I mean that's going to be kind of cool. And, uh, but you can unlock different avatars and outfits and skill styles and it's good man, I recommend it, it's, it's fun to play. I'll be right with you guys. It's just taking all my concentration. I think breakdancing is an Olympic sport now, I think. They're, they're, they're putting a lot more obscure games. It's, it's nice to see people with a special talent get an opportunity to go on a main stage. So in that respect, I like that these sports are getting added to the Olympics. But the Olympics are starting to feel a bit more obscure now. But I guess you need to evolve with this current generation, I suppose. To, to keep the Olympics relevant, because the, the, the games aren't doing too well in recent history. They're, uh, they're not making money, they're losing each city that hosts some money. Not People aren't in a hurry to bid for the Olympic Games anymore. Is it like track and field with button mashing? Yeah, depending on the event. Like, some events are rhythm based, some events are button bashing based. It just depends what you do. It's really well done. It's very fun. I was going to do it for the late night stream. But, uh... I, I, I think it'd be fun for 30 minutes for to an hour to watch, not for two hours. But we'll have to see. Alright, we're going to try this one more time. This is only a very, very quick game. And then we'll move on, because this is a bit arcadey. Uh, but Colin, thank you for your request. This is River Raid. We're going to give this one more try. Oh yeah, BMX is in the new game as well, so you can do BMX. I wish, I really wish you had like the endurance events in this game too, like the 5,000 meters and the 10,000 meters. And uh, you know, I'd like to have the longer distance distance races as well. I think that'd be really fun and a bit of a challenge. Oh damn, I'm running out of fuel here. Get that sunfish, Rick. Damn, I crashed because I ran out of fuel. All right, let's try again. Yeah, exactly. See, I respect all these sports. I guess I don't appreciate them as much because they're not the ones that I grew up with on the TV, I guess. You know what I mean? It's good to get a new... You know, I might... I think it's good there in the Olympics. You never know, guys. You know, I might get a new respect for skateboarding and breakdancing and all that now that they're on the main stage. So it, it's only positive, I guess. Don't blow up the gas. Yeah, I realized what I was doing wrong there. You're not supposed to blow up the, the gas canisters. No wonder I was crashing. <laughs> They're considering making pole dancing an Olympic sport. Well, that's all we need. A bunch of thoughts at the Olympic Games. We do. We just we just need another excuse for thoughts to get famous. No, thank you. If I, if, I, if, 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 if I want to see pole dancing, I'll just go the butter bing. We don't need it in the Olympic Games. Sorry. Uh, uh, no. <laughs> and Ryan says I'm shooting that fuel like a boss. Yeah, apparently I'm not supposed to be. Thank you, Steve. Steve with 100 stars. Thank you so much for, you, for your generosity always, Steve. I hope you have a great sleep. Let, just hang around until I can give you the thank you screen, huh? I'm almost dead. I did not know that, uh, Joshy. Really? That is really impressive. I'm going to have to look for that. And then David's like, oh, come on, Ricky. <laughs> Alfonso says you're picking Brazil for pole dancing. Oh, my gosh. All right, what are we going to give to Steve before we move on? Something classic. Here you go, sir. Man. 
And then he's like, Ricky, who cares about the fuel? Colin, thank you so much for your request, man. I hope you enjoyed. That's a wonderful game. That's River Raid. Uh, the next, we've got four games left. Five, technically, if Josh is still in here. Uh, the next game we got is for Jacob. And he's asked for Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers, uh, on Game Boy Advance. I have not played this game, but he assures me it's a really good RPG-ish game. Kind of like uh, Diablo. So that kind of makes me a little bit excited. So, Jacob, we're going to check this sumbish out. And uh, what do we got? We're going to go the recent. Okay, Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers. Let's see what's up. The tick rule says the Olympic Village is already a, an orgy. I bet they're all banging before race day. That's probably why the Australian team never wins any gold medals. <laughs> Matt also with the 50 stars. Matt says you bet basketball in the Olympic video game is like playing NBA 2K. It is pretty similar actually, Matt. It's kind of, the controls are very similar to like NBA Playgrounds. So if you know how to play NBA Playgrounds, uh, you'll be used to it. This is going out to you, Matt. Thank you, my friend. <laughs> oh, here we go. Lord of the Rings. Uh, let's go to the options. Is there like an easy mode? Course difficulty. Yes. Why won't it let me change the difficulty? Oh, well, I guess we're just going to have to start as normal. Alright, here we go. New game. Good to see you, Jacob. Here we go. So who are we going to pick? Aragon and uh, Gandalf. I don't know who should we pick. We got Legolas, you got Frodo, you got Gandalf, and you got Aragorn. So I mean, who do you want, Evelyn? Who should we pick, Jacob? Since this is your request, I'm gonna let you. Uh, I'm gonna let you pick, Jacob. Since this is your game, and I'm gonna have a quick thing of water. Who do you want me to use? How you going, Soapbox91? Jacobs would say, would I say that EA is a new LJN? Nah. I don't think their games are that bad. I think EA's problem is they just lack inspiration. They're just all about profit. I think EA will come good again one day. And uh, I'm gonna ask oh, Jared wants. Uh, so I'm gonna ask. I'm gonna ask um, Jacob who he wants me to use, guys. It's his request. Yeah, Frodo's a choice. Go figure, huh? This looks promising. It does, doesn't it? But I, I do. I do want Jacob to make a request. You got about ten seconds, Jacob. Hope you've been doing well, Soapbox. Just waiting for Jacob. Ten, nine, maybe he's gone. There we go. Oh, okay, here we go. Oh, here you go. We got it. Oh, there's cutscenes in this too. This is nuts. Look at that. Movie cutscenes on a Game Boy Advance game. Now, that's impressive. Oh, man, I hope your day gets better. That doesn't sound too good, man. What's been happening? Oh, you know what the graphics in this remind me of? You remember Light Crusader on Sega Genesis? I'm not... Okay, we're not doing the talky-talky bits, Jacob, because that's the rule. No talky-talky bits, we're, but we're going to do the choppy-choppy bits for you. So where are we supposed to go? Is there like a... I don't know where we're supposed to go. There's no mini-map. All right, we're going to bash up some orcs now. <coughs> Alright, the gameplay in this, I must say, is pretty fun. I'm digging it already. Do we have, like, okay, so you can, like, carry different weapons and stuff? What's the select button do? Oh, not, nothing special. Alright. It very much, it does have a Diablo feel to it, doesn't it? As Como, as Como says, I'm gonna get sued now. Whatever, Como. <laughs> this is pretty good for Game Boy Advance. As I said, the only rule here is no talky talky games. So, uh, you know, it's fine. I'll just skip the talky talky bits. You, you guys have pretty much all seen the two towers anyway. We don't really need the, the talk. A pile of six gems. So how do you pick them up? Oh, you got to prick the, the press the trigger button. Okay, we probably do need that gold. And Joshua says if you're a supporter, you'd pick Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Uh, a, a remake of that is coming out on Switch next month. I'm thinking of picking it up. Is anyone else in here going to get the remaster of Mystery Dungeon? I, I, I've i never played Mystery Dungeon, so I don't even know if it's a good game or not. But uh, it's it's getting a re-release, so I'm considering, uh, I'm considering picking it up. I've not really watched a lot of the Rings movies, but I've seen all of um, The Hobbit. 
Oh, no, I'm, pre I'm, I'm pretty behind, aren't I? <laughs> Jacob says, Monsters drop loot. There are shops at, at statues and stuff where you can spend gold. Okay, gotcha. That would be a good shift to one coin. No talky talky. In other words, Matthew's like, shut up. Here's 50 stars. Matthew, I really appreciate those 50 stars, but you're going to have to send me a lot more than that to shut me up. Oh, yeah, I'm just kidding, man. Yeah, Matty, well, thank you very much, sir. Check out the too, huh? <laughs> Appreciate you. Oh, you mean that'd be a good shirt for one coin? No talky talky. Oh, now I get what you mean. I thought, I thought you were saying something different for a second. My bad. <laughs> Let's have a look at our inventory, guys. I think we got some items here. Alfonso says you want to request DJ. Ah, uh, yeah, we don't do the PS3 games on the channel, unfortunately. And uh, as much as I love DJ Hero, I can't because Facebook flags me for the music. So uh, I love DJ Hero, but if I play DJ Hero, Facebook will be like, ooh, you can't do that. You don't own the rights to this music. We're going to throw you off our platform and you'll be banned from ever being on Facebook ever again. But we'll give Ronda Rousey a billion dollars and she can do whatever she likes because she's got tits and she's a UFC superstar. That's a bad joke, isn't it? There you go, I sound a bit salty right now. By the way, I've got I've got no issues with Ronda Rousey streaming. I just wanted to crack the joke. I just wanted to crack the joke. It's a very bad joke. <laughs> Pyro, good to see you. Pyro with the 50 stars. Pyro, thank you very much. This is going out to you, my friend. Oh, you had to clip that, didn't you, David? And the nightmare's like, damn, Facebook police. Sam Blaster Gaming says, Misty, Mystery Dungeon's an okay game. Jacob says, this is like Golden Axe or Champions of Norath, which is a pretty good game, actually, too. Did I watch a stream? No, but I heard it was actually alright. I've got no issues with Ronda Rousey being a streamer. As I said, um, as long as people are getting into this for the right reasons and they have a passion for it, I support them. If people are taking eyes away from our product because they just want a little few few extra Benjamins, I mean, you've got every right to do that, but it's like, you know, come on. I mean, you could just sign another deal with Nike, you know what I mean? <laughs> you didn't like Ronda's stream? I heard it wasn't that bad. I'll have to go back and watch it. I've got, I've got no issues with her. I mean, if celebrities want to get on to the streaming, it's, you know. I just, I just think you should pay your dues, but, you know, just like anything, like, if, like, for example, if I wanted to give up streaming one day and become a baker, I'd have to pay my dunes and learn how to bake. You know, it's the same kind of thing. Davo says, two more j days and you're out of Facebook jail. Congratulations. Is, is this game pretty linear, uh, uh, Jacob, or is it easy to get lost? I, I'm not I'm not picking on Ronda. I, I'm not hating on anybody, guys. I'm not negative like that. I do I, I do act like an asshole sometimes, but it's just in the name of humor. Honestly, I don't have any personal objections with her streaming at all. But you know, sometimes you need to do things the right way. I think. And Lauren says, but my teacher could... Yeah, but I still need to pay my dues even if I've got a famous sister. She was practically naked in bed with someone that wasn't her husband. Maybe she's not with her husband anymore. Maybe that's why the impregnation vacation is off. Because she was supposed to be having children now, wasn't she? <laughs> I've got to be careful what I say. I don't want Facebook to get me in trouble. <laughs> I'm sorry, Ronda, I have nothing against you, and I'm not just saying that because uh, you can beat the shit out of me. I actually enjoy your UFC matches, and uh, I enjoyed your WWE run. Just don't take people off my page, alright? There must be another path. Alright, we need to go around, apparently. Well, at least we're getting a lot of gems here. No, her husband showed up at the end. Okay, that's a big relief. That would have been awkward, huh? <laughs> we got to find another exit, Jacob. I am enjoying this tremendously. This was a really uh, good pick, my brother. Thank you very much. 
The only question I've got is how do you know which way you need to go? Because there's like no... Yeah, I don't know how you know which way to go. I mean, I guess you just follow the enemies, right? Como says if that's a new man, well, then we all have it. Oh, wow. Not, not that attractive, huh? <laughs> not, not that attractive, huh? Poor guy. Jacob says you usually just follow the enemy spawn yourself. I mean, so far, so good. I... Oh, there's another one over here. We've got a few knives here. How do we drop all this stuff? We've got a short sword. What's that? Short sword, saber, two to five damage. Can you drop stuffs? How do you drop stuffs? You can. Oh, you can just. Can you sell stuff at the store? Hang on. What's this? Let's. Yeah. Can you sell stuff at the store? How you been keeping, Mikey? I'm good, bro. I'm just getting a little lost at the moment. We're trying to find another way around this area. Sand says the new uh, games on the Switch are not that bad that came out on the Virtual Console. Oh good, I'm happy to hear. I, I'm a little bit stuck here, I'm so sorry, uh, Jacob. That's the only downside to this game that I've found so far. You don't know where the fuck to go! Oh, here we go. Alright, so, right, we're, we're back in business here. I'm trying to hold on to as much stuff as I can in case I can sell it for gems for you, bro. Oh, okay, yeah, no, I was gonna say, man. This is cool. I don't know how long we'll play this for, Jacob, but I tell you what, my man, I, I genuinely enjoy this. And uh, this is certainly something 100% I could play in my own time. It, it seems like a fun relaxation kind of game. If, if, if I had a... If I had a Game Boy... I would love to own this game. Now, there's three Lords of, Ring of the Rings games, apparently, uh, on Game Boy. Do they all play like this, or are they all a little bit different? I don't know where we're supposed to go. Here we go. There's some more treasures over here. What do we got next? Uh, Super Chase HQ for Captain BS, if you're still in here, brother. Big thank you. Can we open this chest up? All right. Follow the road, I'm sure. What, the yellow brick road? I don't know where the fuck the yellow brick road is. Where's the what road? We just fly? Okay, down here apparently. Oh, you mean the actual road? Like, okay, I gotcha. Well, that makes sense. So, oh, there we go. We got ourselves a helmet. Here we are. Alright, there we go. We got ourselves a longsword too. Now, now we're badass. Is this not the right way that we're going? Oh, here we go. Maybe it's this way. Well, let's just go back over my yard. So, was that... Oh, gosh. So, I have to go all the way back, do I, Jacob? Or is there another way to get out of here? Is there any... Can we... I was hoping there'd be a shortcut or something. Right, let's have a look here. I mean, I'm, I'm, I just like chopping things, to be honest, Jacob, so I don't really mind all that much. This, this is definitely a game that's going to struggle without a minimap, though, right? Oh, that's a bummer, Darren. I, I bet you weren't too happy with your folks, huh? <laughs> So the exit really wasn't that opposite side of the rock. Alright, fine, I'll go back. The opposite side of that rock pile. We can do it. We'll go back, Jacob. I believe you. I, I know where you're talking about. The opposite side of that rock pile. So down here somewhere, isn't it? No, not quite that far across. Hang on. We'll find it, Jacob. Gosh, man. I, I do enjoy this game. But the fact that there's no mini-map is kind of a deal-breaker for me, sir. Yeah, as, as you can see, Jacob, I'm, I'm not one that's good with directions. Alright, is it this it? I'm hoping this is it here. Oh my gosh! I can't find the freaking exit! Oh, one more time. Back over here. 
You said the exit was off. I'm here. And I went back for you, Jacob, and there's no exit. Ah! There's no exit here! <sighs> Alright, one more time. Back this way. Gosh! And then Jacob says, Yike, sorry, just go left. Fucking Jacob, I was going the right fucking way. There's a statue. Hello. Oh, let's sell this stuff. <laughs> Right, we got it. We're going to sell this stuff. Now, what can we buy? And now, let's see if we can buy anything good. Let's, 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 uh... What, what, what can we buy? A skill point and a tribute point. Alright. Yay, we got some attribute points. How about that? Alright, cool. We just gave a tithing. I'm just trying to, is there a boss battle or anything coming up? What's up here? Oh, gosh. Skills and stats from the statue. And then Kyle says the second he said he was lost, you knew the rage was coming. I'm kind of lost now. I don't know where else to go. This man, this, this guy is going to freeze to death in Siberia and he's going to be lost forever. Oh, there we go. There's a sunbish. Hey. I will go up here one more time, Jacob, and then I'm probably going to move on. Dude, thank you very much for this request. So this game, if by all accounts, this game is fun. Couple problems with it. Lack of mini-map. I mean, I understand this is on the Game Boy Advance. And I think by God, yeah. No, don't feel embarrassed, Jacob. This game is phenomenal. Thank you so much for the request. It's just gotten to the point where I'm stuck. But uh, no, it's really, really good. As I said, the only, the only problem I think with that, that game uh, is a lack of minimap. Otherwise, that would definitely be a good contender to be a, like a, a handheld Diablo type of game. That's actually really fun. So that was uh, Lord of the Rings Two Towers, guys. And uh, I, I, I genuinely enjoyed that, brother. So thank you for the request. Uh, we're going to be doing Super Chase HQ now. This is a retro racing game, which you've seen me do the arcade version of before. This is going out to uh, Captain BS. Uh, you drive a hotted up car, kind of like the Knight Rider vehicle. And uh, you've got to take down criminals. That's basically what this one's about. Man, this one's a bit loud, isn't it? Don't, don't really dig the music in this one. But I know the game's going to be sweet because I've played Chase HQ many times. A rank, yeah, we're gonna go to easy mode. Don't judge. So what's it? What's the keys? Accelerate, turbo, gear shift, auto, item, select. I oh, says so select. Okay. I oh, says so no brake button in this. You just gotta let go to brake. All right. Well, let's see how we go. And Matt says the Yomar movie is crazy and freaky. I've never seen that movie. I might have to check that out, Matt. Matt, this is going out to you. Matt, thank you again for another 50 stars. I am getting pretty close to being finished, but don't forget, guys, I will come back on uh, with a, with a, a, another stream late at night after a small break. I just don't know what with yet. So we're gonna uh, we're gonna capture suspects that rob the jewelry store. And that's what the enemy car looks like in all its uh, freaking uh, green and blue glory. <laughs> Gotta love these Game Boy colors, huh? Let's see how we go here. Hey, this is a nice remix, Game Boy remix of the original theme. It sounds pretty similar. It actually sounds pretty similar, Captain BS. It's not. It's not a bad effort. Oh, how do you? So you can pick which way you want to go. I tell you what, I'm already enjoying this more than the NES version of Chase HQ and the Master System versions of HQ. Those games were kind of a dumpster fire. This one actually, you can stay on the road. So it, it, it always, it already wins brownie points for me. Yeah, you gotta love the Game Boy sound effects, eh? <laughs> you know, you're just doing your you're just doing your bit for the community, right, Dave? 
So you can, I don't know if you guys know how to play this game, but you can see the little distance marker um, on the top right hand corner. Once you get to the end, you'll encounter the boss character. And you need to keep whacking him in the ass until he crashes, essentially. He got his damage meter there, uh, as you can see on the left hand side as well. Oh crap. Oh, there you go. We're just going to keep smacking into his bottom. Are you proud of me, Captain BS? I actually know how to play this one. I'm very experienced on the old Chase HQ back in the day. We're going to get him. We're going to knock him out. Take that, you sun biscuit. <laughs> you think I can get a good night's rest? No, I'm going to come back on. I'm going to... I'm only... I'm... My half day is on Saturday, Lauren, because I'm going to rest up for the 24-hour marathon. So uh, I'll do a full day today, man. It's no problem. i got to pull my weight, sir. Got to pull my weight, mate. Oh, there we go. And uh, Darren says, Your friend lost all his save on World War Z on PC. I wonder why that happened. That's a real bummer. That would really suck. That is horrible. I'm sorry to hear, man. That is pretty terrible. Uh, we're gonna... Why are we gonna buy a new engine part? I'm gonna save my money for a new engine part. Oh, here we go. Let's see what our next mission is. This is Nancy at Chase HQ. Two men just robbed the bank. Oh, no. Not the bank. They escaped to the waterfront and were observed heading for the pier. And uh, they were last seen driving a sports car... Uh, dropping bags of cash onto the highway. Well, there you go. We might. I'm going to go after the cash instead of the criminals. Right. So, oh look, it's a little uh, Herbie the Love Bug looking car. All right, we're going after the Volkswagen guys. Sunday in America, Jonathan. So it's starting at 7 p.m. U.S. Eastern Standard Time on Sunday, and we'll go for the full day. So our US time, my friend. Everything I say on the channel goes by US time. I do understand that 80 plus percent of people on one coin are from the US, so everything I say is US time. You know, it just goes to show sometimes less is more. Like, uh, it may not look like much, guys. Like, this, this game kind of looks like a big turd burger. But I promise you, it's actually really, really fun to play. I I'm digging it. I, I do not hate this game at all. Hey, you going, Eric? Good to see you. I am doing very well, man. We are smashing through whatever Wednesday today. Although it hasn't been that short a list, uh, Lauren. We've already been on for over three hours, man. We've had a, we've had a, a good amount of time here today. All right, we're, get, we're getting pretty close to this next boss again, Captain BS. Yeah, how many turbos we got? You get four turbos a level, so I'm pretty much just saving my, my turbos here for the boss battle. I, I don't mean to keep missing those cash bags. It's totally accidental. Oh, here we go. Let's keep smashing up his backside. Take that, Herbie, the love bug. There's nothing to love about you now, you some bitch. Get back off him, ya! Okay, no worries, Matty. Appreciate you. Take that. Take that. What do we got next? Oh, Earthworm Gym 3D. That's going to be an interesting one, Zana. I hope I'm good at your game, my friend. <laughs> oh, gosh. We've had an amazing crowd today, too. You guys have been amazing on both shows. Thank you for supporting uh, both myself and D-Wayne today. Don't forget, guys, if you do want to make a request on whatever Wednesday, you can become a supporter by clicking on the green shield. And uh, there's no obligation to it whatsoever, but you get, like, VIP streams Monday to Friday. You get a whatever Wednesday request. Uh, you get a discount in the store. You get free postage. You get a prize giveaway every month. So uh, just something to think about. Oh, thank you, Kai. I appreciate that, man. As I said, I just appreciate the encouragement, sir. Thank you so much. April just sent the 50 stars. April, thank you, girl. I owe you some pancakes again next time I see you. 
But in the meantime, I'm going to give you some gummy bears. <laughs> April, thank you so much for the 50 stars. As I said, guys, I really appreciate it. They all add up, for real. And uh, what are we going to do? Alright, we've got enough for a new engine here. There we go, we just put on a new engine. Let's see how we go in the next stage. And we got Gamma V over on YouTube. Good to see you there. Sam Blasted Gaming wants me to do a stream of the Olympics. I feel like I should have a little bit more practice first, but I'll get it on eventually. I might do that game along with something else. Matthew says, what is this game? This is Chase HQ on the Game Boy, my friend. Everything you need to know about One Coin Only Coffee is on the website, Lauren. It's on the Level Up Coffee Club. They're our sponsors. They provide the brew for us. Uh, but all the customer service they do from their end. Same kind of same deal as with Teespring, you know, it's a third party. But they've made a very, very uh, special brew for us. We're very grateful for the One Coin Only Coffee Club. And uh, I'll be able to tell you more from my personal experience. Uh, once I finally get a bag over here, which will happen soon. As I said, it's a new partnership. We're gonna go this way. Alright, there we are. And Matt says you forgot to send me gameplay of the new Streets of Rage game the other day. Oh, that's okay, man. I appreciate you. Matt, thank you again for another 50 stars. I'm going to wait to the end of this level and then I'll uh, get back to you, my brother. Thank you so much. This car's a lot quicker. It's going an extra 10 miles an hour, apparently. There you go. Vinny's got all the information for you guys. Gamma says, when you don't play, you grow old. Oh, here we go. We've got the boss character already. I just know people like coffee and I want to provide it for them. All the details on that aforementioned coffee, as I said, are all on the, on the website for you guys. I'm not going to pretend I'm a coffee expert. I like to drink coffee very much. But, you know, I'm kind of like a, a race car driver that doesn't know what's under the hood. I just like it. <laughs> Thank you, Vinny. So, link below. Three bags uh, for $11. Free shipping right now. There you go, guys. You got all the details here from Vinny. Hey, we got Matthew in here. We got my brother. My real life brother is in here. How you doing, Matty? Old school one, have you streamed the Mega Drive Road Rash game? Oh yeah, we've done Road Rash on a few occasions here, Matty. You know what, Matt? I am going to write that down for next week, and I'm going to play it for you next week on the show, because you haven't made a Whatever Wednesday request yet. Road Rash. There we go. I got you for next week's show, my friend. You make sure you're here this time next week, huh? <laughs> Alright, so... Um... Alright, what we'll do, guys, is we'll do one lucky last level. And then we'll move in. We'll do one more level for Captain BS. Captain BS, if you're watching, I appreciate you, man. I hope you've enjoyed your request today. The, oh, so this is like the mayor's daughter's been kidnapped. I mean, that's a pretty big deal. Alright, Mayor Kane's daughter's been kidnapped. We need to rescue her. Gotta, gotta love these old school games, hey? I, I, th I think the Game Boy was punching above its... Well, oh, look at that. That's like a van. Alright, you're not gonna miss it. Hey, Dustin, welcome back. Good to see you once again, sir. Plug, plug. Share the stream, yo. <laughs> What's happening, Dustin? You good? Oh, we get guns in this level, do we? I just picked up a gun. So how do we use a gun? Apparently you use items with the select button, but they ain't working. Thomas says you haven't seen a station wagon in years. Oh, you see them around in Aussie. 
You, you still see them around in Aussie. They're quite common over here. So the next game is uh, Earthworm Gym 3D, and then we've got Punch Out Arcade uh, for Rich. And uh, then if Josh is still in here, we're going to do Blood Brothers for him as a bonus game. If he's not in here, uh, I'm going to do that for him next week instead. It just depends if he's watching or not. Because he was a naughty boy and got to me last minute. Isn't that right, Joshy? You naughty, naughty, naughty boy. <laughs> So I made a deal. I said if he's here till the end, I'll put it on for him. Because I'm a compromising kind of cat. Ah, uh, gotcha, Darren. I'm going to buy my copy in uh, March. I'm, I'm a little bit tight this month just because I've put every spare cent I have in, in an account that I can't touch. So I live on a pretty tight budget. So I don't spend too much money. <laughs> But uh, I'm going to get the Yakuza collection probably in March. We almost got it. There we go. Captain BS, that's four missions. We own this game. We're too good. We're too good at this. Stage four is clear. I have to admit, I think the easy difficulty is, is definitely what is called for a reason. Alright, so we're going to leave that one there. Captain BS, thank you so much for your request. I really enjoyed that. That's actually a pretty good port of Super Chase HQ. They, they did a good job at attempting to remix the music too, which is kind of impressive. So, here's our next game. Earthworm Jim uh, 64. Uh, on uh, Nintendo 64, obviously. Earthworm Jim 3D. Fuck, man. Zana, I'm worried. I'm, I really... Oh, man. Zana, I've got to tell you, these uh, 3D games on the Nintendo 64 are my kryptonite. But I just saw a Rockstar symbol there, so that gives me a little bit of hope. Alright, we're going we're gonna to press the start button. Oh, very nice, Darren. Oh, you got the two spin-offs from Japan, the... Are you talking about the Samurai-based one? Or are you talking about Dead Souls? I've got the digital copy of Dead Souls. They are powerless to help the nurse searching for a sign. I don't care about the talky-talky bits. We're gonna... Now where are we gonna go? Yeah, apparently Rockstar was involved with this game, huh? All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. As I said, this is uh, Earthworm Jim 3D. And let me just uh, bump the volume up a bit more on this one so you guys can hear it too. Oh, Captain BS. Thank you, man. Captain BS with the 250 stars. Captain BS says, thanks for playing that request, man. Have a good one. Captain BS, I hope you have a great sleep. Man, thank you so much for staying up late for that too. What are we going to give to Captain BS before he goes? I know what you like, man. This one. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? Is this not why you are here? Oh, I've got both those games as well, Darren. Yeah, I have both those games. But there's some other ones on PS3. You should... Uh, there's like... um, There's uh, Yakuza Dead Souls, which is like Yakuza meets The Walking Dead. Uh, it's not as much fun as what it sounds, but it's not a bad effort. Alright, Kai. Well, I'll, I'll take that into consideration. If it's really cheap at the supermarket on sale, I might grab it. But if it's a full... Like, oh, man, it's a talky-talky game. Alright, here we go. Man, Zana gets me to do a lot of 3D games like this. I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. You remember this game? I've got no freaking idea what I'm supposed to do here. And the camera angles are typical bullshit. Oh, my gosh. Oh, what's in here? Anything we need? You need to collect 27 more others. Alright, well that's good. And another problem is just these, um... These controllers are not set... Because I don't... I'm not using a Nintendo 64 controller today. How do we get in there? 
I don't know where we're supposed to go. How do you get in? What are we? What are we supposed to do? Happiness. Is that like a level or something? You need more udders. Okay. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Where am I supposed to go? What, what do you just do? I just got some like octopus or something. Oh gosh. All right. Now what? What do we do? Do we need to go in here? What's What's in this one? Memory. All right. Now what? What are you doing? He's playing some bagpipes like Commodore. Oh, uh, you know, it's in English. I got it from the PS3 store. I bought it digitally from the PS3 store. But, you know, you can get it from America. There's the English version. Or oh, English subtitles, anyway. I think it's only English subtitles, Darren. S sounds good, Matt. I can't wait, brother. Absolutely can't wait. Who dares confront the sacred cowl of memories and his shiny altar? It is I, Earthworm Jim, superhero term Suka Ego. Alright. Actually, you've come at a bad time. Could you call back later? Don't stand in my way, cow. I've been sent to fix things. Your arch enemy, Psycho Crow, has invaded this brain and fixated on a single bad memory. Well, that's no fuck is a talky talky game, Zana! Oh my gosh. I love you, Zana. What I don't love is talky talky games. We're gonna go in here though and see what's going on. It's a farm, yeah. Alright, Coop to you. Alright, cool. Oh, I'm gonna shoot some things. There we go, we're gonna have some fun now. We're gonna talk. The longer you hold down A button, the higher you'll jump. Alright, well there we go, that's a big jump, isn't it? What's over here? Fire your blaster by holding down the Z button. Don't mind if I do. And how do we How do we get those balls? Oh, well, I don't know where to go! I don't know where to go! I'm so freaking lost! I've just gotten into the level and I'm fucking stuck already and I can't turn the camera around. Oh, there, now I sort of can turn the camera around. Alright, can I go in this door? How do you open the doors? Can we shoot them open? Open the door! Hold the door! How do you, how do you, how do you, how do you open these sumbish doors? I don't know, can we jump up here? Oh my gosh, alright, well, we're gonna go up I don't know where to, oh my god! Okay, there's this, okay. Sandblaster Gaming says he absolutely loves this game. It's the first game you streamed on, on this channel. I kind of feel sorry for you for playing this game. I'm just kidding. Use the heli head, buddy. Press A twi twice. A running jump will get you further. Alright. We're gonna make sure that we use the old, uh... Why won't he turn around? Turn around, Jim. I can't... Oh, my gosh. I'm going to do a running jump. Whoa! I'm going to hold down the other... Dude! I'm going to reload here. Oh, there we go. That's how you do it. All right. Well, that's that side. Can we turn around yet? Because I can't see anything. Sean says maybe it's a good thing Ricky doesn't drink. Oh, I don't fucking know! Oh, I don't know where to go. This game has just been a poopy head. Oh, wow. What the hell? Fuck it. Am I supposed to, like, run over here? It'd be nice if I knew where to go. Dude! Oh, how am I supposed Oh, we got raided by XBit, guys. My friends from XBit came in. Thanks for coming in. You come in just in time because I don't know what the hell I'm doing in this game today. Oh, you're going to shoot the ball. Okay, I see. No worries. Thank you for coming. How's everyone from XBit? Big shout out to our friends from XBit Gaming. Great people, guys. Promise you. Oh, my gosh. Now, can we go over this? I believe, I believe you, Sandblaster Gaming. I'll believe in you even if I don't... Why well, now where am I supposed to go? Are we just supposed to unlock this door? So after all that, there's just a... Oh my gosh. Here we go. We've got a massive shout-out going to 16-Bit Heroes as well. 
as uh, Xbit Gaming. Ian, thank you very much. I hope you had an awesome night. Uh, and Lauren says this is better. You know, as I said, there's nothing wrong with this game. I don't want poor, poor Zana to feel bad because we love Zana here. Um, but uh, there is definitely a learning curve with that. There's no denying this. You're apparently going to do the C button down to duck. Well, I don't know what the C button down is on this control setup, actually, so that could be a, a little bit of a problem. Uh, how, what are we supposed to do? I forgot the clue! Now I don't know where to go! Oh, what's over here? What are you doing, you little bastard? Can we shoot him? Oh my gosh! Oh, now what are we gonna do? Jump up there? I don't know what to add. Ah! Oh, how? Where am I supposed to go? There's like a freaking. I don't. I, don't ah, I can't open the door. Zana's sleeping. Jacob says thanks for playing two towers. My flesh no, I'm pressing all the buttons and I can't open. Oh, how do I do that? I just did the rolling ones. Maybe that's what I'm. Maybe I'm supposed to roll through the door like ah. I know, that's not going to work. Alright, let's go back over on this. Zana, I think this might be a five minute game, unfortunately, my friend. Whip the critter on the wheel. Alright, well, we're going to go back to this, Sunbish. Wake up, Sunbish! Now what's he going to do? Gosh, I told you I'm not very good with uh, puzzle games. And then D-Wayne says, go where the wind blows swiftly, my friend. Thank you, D-Wayne. Press the B button to dodge his missiles. When you're down, use the control stick to roll about. Alright, well, hooray. Uh, dodging some missiles. Well, that didn't really work out, did it? Come on, can we shoot this guy? Don't you be doing that. Alright, we got him. Oh, cool, we made it. Alright, cool. There's an exit there. <laughs> Oh no! It's like World War Three. These are, these are like nuclear refrigerators. Fridges launched. Oh no, guys! Duck and cover! Duck and cover, everybody! Duck and cover! Duck and cover! Duck and cover! Did you guys ever sing those songs in school? Maybe that was a bit after your time. <laughs> Oh, right, there we go. We got another, another, another area over here. All right, I'm trying my hardest, Sana. I'm trying my hardest. I'm trying not to suck. No, we went the wrong fucking way. All right, we're gonna go back over here. All right. Oh well. Is there anything in this one? No. Maybe back up here. This is a new door. All right, new area. The music's stopping, so shit's about to get real, I think. Now what's in here? Wow, that's a bit... Oh, what's going on over here? Yo! Oh, oh, we gotta go... We gotta... Okay. Oh, no worries. As I said, like, you know, this game has the potential to be something absolutely amazing. And the, the one thing I always complain about with Nintendo 64 games is the camera angles just do not hold... it. Oh, we don't shoot our friend. At ease, soldier. You're the sorriest looking chicken I've ever seen. Actually, I'm an earthworm. Thank you. Talky talky mission. Alright. No, no more talky talky. Let's keep going. Oh, we're going to go back up over on here too. Alright. Don't, don't you be getting hit by rolly rolly things, Rick. Damn it! Hey, Jared, thank you very, very much. Jared just dropped a $2 super chat over on the YouTube. This one's going out to you, my friend. Thank you so much. Oh. Thank you so much, Jared. You're awesome, man. Appreciate that. I'm, I'm, I'm just happy that I didn't give up on this game because I nearly gave this a five-minute treatment. But Zana's awesome people, and I didn't want to do that to her, so... Uh, yeah, Zana. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying to have you back here, my friend. This, as I said, this is the only. My only issue is the camera angles. Apart from that, it seems like a lot of fun. 
Oh wait, we went just we went back this way again. All right, hold up. Well, let's do this one more time. Sorry, guys. Okay, so we're supposed to go to to the right, I think. All right, so let, all right, back up here. All right, let's keep going up, Rick. <laughs> I know what you mean, Kai, huh? It's like, surprise! Everything's about to kill you. I, I have a funny feeling we've been up in this area already. I don't know which door we're supposed to go in. Alright, well, let's have a look around. Oh, yeah. It looks like this is just a little bonus room. That's fine. Well, we'll get everything we need from a car. Don't forget, guys, our last game on the list uh, is Punch-Out! The arcade game. You're going to see where Punch-Out! all began. Okay, new area. All right, well, this is all right. All right, I guess I, guess I can't go up that way, huh? Right, I suppose we're going to shoot them. Oh, no, not today, bro. Not today. Trying to, trying to clear a safe pathway before we move on. Wow, this gun doesn't have a whole lot of range, does it? Die! How hard? Why won't you die? Fuck! Oh my gosh! And so Fox says, is this game any good? Uh, it's it. How do we use this switch? Uh, I, it's not without its charm, my friend. It's definitely not without its charm. Now what's that? It's not without its charm. You know, obviously 3D games have come a long way uh, since this point in time. But, you know, this is all about the nostalgia. So, now where do we go? Um, I don't know. I think I need to hit some of these. Yeah, I think we need to eventually... Oh, dude, I can't see anything! Oh my god! The camera angles are freaking horrible! I'm trying to... Oh, man! I can't see! Alright, I'm trying to... What's going on over my... Damn. Alright, see, so trying, trying to. I hope, oh, dude, I can't see! My gosh, that's what I was trying to do. Fuck it, man. Alright, so what's over here? There's a set of undies up here, apparently. Alright, we're gonna get the Earthworm Gym undies. Mama always said never leave the house without clean underwear, isn't that right? Alright, let's just try this again. Maybe, maybe I have to look from this side. Oh, there we go. That, that's how we do it. I'm trying to get that underwear, everybody. So is that underwear going to unlock a new door? We're going to find out in a wee sec, aren't we? DUDE! Oh, how am I supposed to get the underpants? Am I supposed to shoot them down, maybe? Shoot the underwear. Well, how am I supposed to get the freaking underpants? Let's go back over um, here. Yeah, let's have a look at what's on this side. How, 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 what am I supposed to do? How, how do I get the underpants? Maybe I need to whip them after I jump. Let's try that. Oh, where's my underpants? Oh my gosh. Climb the rope. Well, where, how am I supposed to get on the bloody well rope? Well, I'm going to try and going from this side. Maybe I need to jump from over. Who's shooting at me now? Dude, I want the underpants! Oh, why won't you give me the underpants, oh... Underpants, Lord. Oh my gosh. Alright, this is about where I rage from this game, Zana. But thank you very much for your request today. Keep tapping to keep flying. Alright, one more time. 
No, I did, and it didn't do anything. You can only fly for a certain amount of time. Fuck, Gertie! Oh my gosh. That's it. I am done. Done diddly diddly, done diddly doodly diddly diddly doodly. Oh my gosh. Sana, thank you for your request. I can't handle this any longer. This is what we call here at One Coin only a D-Wayne game. D-Wayne, that's all you next time, brother. That's all you. Alright, we're going to do our final game of this stream, guys, which is uh, Punch Out. This one's going out to uh, Rich. Thank you very much for your quest, bro. Ah! All right, there we go. Punch out, loading this sumbish. Oh, doodly. <laughs> oh. I'm gonna have a quick drink of water. Guys, I appreciate you all coming in once again to whatever Wednesday. Uh, I will be back on with a late night stream, but beforehand, I will give you guys a raid somewhere. We'll see who's on in a sec. I'm sorry, Zana. I just wasn't... I wasn't cut out to get the underpants. I just wasn't born to succeed. Alright, so... Alright, this is the original Punch-Out game. I've got to remember the patterns in this. It's been a minute since I've played this properly. You're welcome, Kai. Oh, gosh. Oh, here we go. Punch out. See, it's, it, it, punch out's come a long way since this game, hasn't it? Oh crap, come on, get him. What's a, what's a, just forgotten what the super punch is, that's alright, we've knocked him out. Matthew says this was a short whatever Wednesday. Bro, I've been on for four hours. How long do you expect me to stream for? <laughs> I've been on for four hours, mate. It's not that short. <laughs> My gosh. Man, I feel like I can't keep some people happy. Small whatever Wednesday. It's four hours, mate. And I'm coming back on for another stream. It's not like I'm not doing nothing. <laughs> ah, damn. Well, you, there you go. I got knocked out by Glass Joe. Oh, here we go. Josh is still in here. Okay, Josh, I'm going to do your game after this as well. A deal is a deal. You're still in here. So I'm going to do Blood Brothers after Punch Out. There we go. We got him. We got another game coming on after this anyway, guys. So we're not done yet. Oh, there we go. We got rid of Glass Joe. Jacob says you got this on your OG Xbox. I bought this on the Nintendo Switch. I've got this on the Nintendo Switch now. Oh, I'm going to take on Piston Hurricane. Ah, oh, damn it. I forgot, I forgot the dodge button's different on this controller. Get him. Come on. Oh, gosh. This is close, guys. This is very close. We're going to get him. That's, that's it. We did it. You could never pass glass during the arcades. I used to always see this, Perry. I don't know if you're in here, but this was a Grundy special. Oh, there we go. That's another one. I'll be right with you guys. How you going, April? Welcome back. I haven't checked your Facebook message. I've been streaming the whole time, April. I've been working since we last spoke. I'll get back to you afterwards, though, my friend. I've been on the whole time, girl. I've been working. Oh, here we go. We're going to look after Bull Bull this time. Oh, gosh. 
The, 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 the arcade version of this is so much more random, guys. I find it a lot harder. I, I got up to Mr. Sandman before, because I did get used to the gameplay after a lot of practice, but there is a bit of a learning curve. There we go, take that! Screw you and your bull charge, Mr. Bull Bullshit. Might have to punch him in the face instead. Come on. Oh, crap. I was so close. And Clifford says you always had issues with this dude in the game. He's a bit of a handful, man. Oh, dude. I'm going to get knocked out in a... Ah! Oh, there you go. I'm knocked out. Let's see if we can use the continue. Damn it, I got owned. Oh, that's no good. <laughs> oh, gosh. All right, let's see if I can reload. Let's see if we can reload the save state. All right, let's try this fight one more time, guys. Try this one more time. Doesn't look like I'm going to get past Ball Bull today. Uh, I do apologize, my brother Rich, but I'm doing my best here. Oh, come on down. Yes, that's it. All right, that's one. I'm going to totally save from here. We're going to cheese it. I'm sort of slowly getting used to the patterns here, guys. Oh, come on. Oh, that's it. That's number two. Going to totally save again. We got him on two bull charges. Yeah, the Super Nintendo version of this is a lot better, 100%. We play the Super Nintendo version of this quite often. Just doing something a little bit different today, just for a few laughs. Damn it! Oh, my gosh. My timing is so off. Fuck it. He's... Do! Oh my gosh, the delayed reaction is getting me on this. Matt says he doesn't like the arcade. Oh, fuck it, I've got to reload. Sorry, guys. Starting. Ah! Oh my gosh, man, I can't. Oh, come on. We're going to knock him out soon, guys. Just need to knock him down one more time. Come on, Rick. You got this. Oh, my gosh. It's so... Un I'm so... Like, everyone's like, you're dodging too early, probably. I know, but... The, the controls are just so awkward. Oh, there we go. Jeez, man. Oh, my gosh. Oh man, it's so, it's so awkward. Oh, finally, man, this is... Oh gosh. The first two knockdowns are easy and then the game just gets nuts. Alright, we got it. Alright, well we're gonna try we're gonna try kid quick here, but this will be my last fight, Rich. Thank you again for watching. Kid quick here, disco kid. It's kinda like the disco kid on the uh, Wii version. Oh boy. He is pretty quick. I, I guess they call him quick for a reason, huh? Oh, dude. Not today, I guess, huh? Damn it. I'm, I'm, so, I'm, I'm certainly out of my league in this fight. <laughs> oh, we're catching up. When he, do, when he does that jab, you got to punch him in the head. Uh, you got to punch him in the belly, and when he does a body punch, you got to punch him in the head. So I've kind of figured out the pattern. 
Oh, there we go. That's one. This is Punch Out the Arcade version, Dustin, by the way. He doesn't like... Oh, there you go. That, that didn't really work out for us. There you go. That's two. Oh, my gosh. Thank you, Jacob. Oh, come on. Knock him down. Knock him the fudge down, Rick. It's over. Dude. He's going... He's... Wow. Now, now we're probably going to fight Mr. Sandman next. I think he's the world champion in this. Oh, crap. Dude, no! Ah. Uh. Ah, uh, it's all over. <laughs> After you've knocked him down twice, it gets harder. Oh, there we go. We, we, we got done by Kid Quick there. Thank you, April. I'm trying. Alright, 24th. Alright, that was cool. Alright, thank you very, very, very much, Rich. That was Punch Out, the arcade game. Now, our bonus game for this stream is Blood Brothers. This one's going out to uh, Josh. Now, he's a supporter that came in a little bit late, and I made him a deal. I said if he hung around until the end, I'd get his late request in, and here we go. We got Blood Brothers now. This is our bonus game tonight. Josh, I just want to thank you so much for being an awesome supporter, sir. And uh, this is like a Cabal. You guys might have played Cabal before. And uh, it's kind of like that, but a Wild Western shooter. Not usually... It's kind of like Wild Guns, I think. The Wild Guns on the Super Nintendo. I mean, let me just pause here and change the volume. And uh, then we'll get going. We'll try and get a few levels here. I do think this game is a little bit easier than what Cabal was. You know, this is a good game. I'm on key. Oh, that's okay, Lauren. No problem. What the Randy Trav? Have you guys ever seen this game before? This game was made by a company called the Tad Corporation, I think. They had a few hidden gems. They weren't one of the bigger companies. This is pretty neat. It's a, it's a nice, fun arcade shooter, you know. I like the rail shooter stuffs. I'm going to come on with a late night, but I, I've been on for a long time already, Jacob, so I want to have a little bit of a break before I come back. But uh, I'll do a late night, just don't know what I'm doing yet. Work something out. I want to do something that's trending. <laughs> I want to play by Facebook's rules. Can you shoot down buildings? Apparently you can with the grenades and stuff. I'm just trying to save my grenades for as long as I can. Apparently you can. Shoot the... There you go, just shot that building down. That's pretty cool, huh? Oh gosh. You, th you think Clint Eastwood would totally approve of this game? I think he would. Yeah, this, this game feels so much easier to control than Cabal. Cabal was a ball breaker. And Jose says, what's the name of this game? This is Blood Brothers. So it's a, it's a Wild West shooter from about 1991, I think. Hey, we just got raided by Dead Devil Cassandra. Nice to see you. Big shout out to our boy Anthony in here. Guys, don't forget to check out Dead Devil Gaming. Appreciate you guys. Welcome to the stream. Thank you for looking out and supporting today. Uh, just one more time, guys. If you haven't liked uh, the stream yet... Uh, please give us a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate that, everyone. That'd be an awesome help. Ah, uh, yeah. I didn't like Nam. Out of all three of those games, I like this one the best. Nam 1975 was just really, really hard. <laughs> it, it had too much of the Neo Geo touch to it. Thank you, April. I appreciate that. Yeah, yippee ki and all that business. Oh, I'm glad you like this one. It's a good one to end on, huh? Yeah, 
And uh, oh, Josh says, you liked none, but Zero continues on the final boss was stupid. I always had to work it out that I died just before the final boss to get the extra yeah. I have beaten that game on stream view, but I had to totally exploit it. This is cool, we've got like this like minecart level and stuff now. Oh crap. You can't get shot while you're tumbling, can you? You're 100% you're invincible, I think, while you're tumbling. I think. Oh, oh, damn it. I wasn't paying attention. I was reading your comment, Jacob. So I'm going to blame you for that, sumbish. <laughs> Let's try this again. Shoot the sumbish train, huh? Toot, toot. There you go. Give you something to toot. Yeah, that was always fun in uh, Nam 75. You had that blonde head big boob girl help you out. <laughs> Trying to take out the train. We're supposed to take out the wheels. Take out the wheels, Rick! This train's about to come and run over me, isn't it? I freaking knew that was coming. I oh, know, what, what do we do now? Okay, I, th I thought this train was going to run over me. Damn it! I got, I got confused between the buttons for a second. Yeah, sounds good, Matty. I hope you enjoy your snack. I'm about to... I'm close behind you, man. I'm about to grab myself some lunch, too. I'm gonna heat up a roast dinner or something. Listen, I don't know what I'm coming on with uh, late this evening yet, but I'll figure something out. I just don't know what I feel like playing tonight, to be honest. I'm just in one of those moods where I'm like... I mean, I want to come on. Like, I've got the energy to come back on, but I have no idea what I feel like playing today. Like, none. <laughs> Tomorrow's easy, because after D-Wayne tomorrow, I'm just going to do some fighting games, but I, I don't know what today. The train went all boom and stuff, I know. You can see, it's pretty much rinse repeat, you know, it's, it's, it's the same level is just pretty much the same, but a little bit harder each time. But you know, I, I, I like I like rail shooters like this where you don't have to think too much. Actually, maybe that's what I'll come on with in the late night. Maybe I'll do some rail shooters, I don't know. Maybe I'll just do some lazy arcade games. Maybe I'll do some like, uh, I don't know, work something out. And Jacob says, is this the beginning of the 24-hour stream? No, as I said before, uh, the 24-hour stream, and I'll have the advertisement up for you guys in the next 48 hours, but it starts on Sunday at uh, 7 p.m. U.S. Eastern Standard Time, that, and then it'll go the whole way through. Sunset Riders for the late night. Alright, well, you know what? I always play Sunset Riders, but uh, I guess we can do that. I might do some Turtles, I might do some Sunset Riders, and I might do some G.I. Joe. We'll see. Yeah, we could probably do some Sunset Riders. Why not? I don't need an excuse to play Sunset Riders. I'm only, I'm only going to come on for another two hours, though, guys. It's been a big day. Alright, I'll, I'll, I'll do some Sunset Riders. <laughs> I'll all include that. No, I'll, I'll come on with some Sunset Riders. I like Sunset Riders. Uh, yeah, just games that I enjoy playing, uh, Lawrence. So, I mean, there's going to be like uh, the Mario Mix hack. There'll be a Resident Evil game in the, in the marathon. Um, we'll do TMNT Manhattan Project as well. 
Um, we'll fit in a uh, Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Um, you know, I'm just doing pretty easy games. We'll fit in a Power Rangers game. I haven't done a 24-hour marathon for a very long time. So I'm keeping it really, really simple. And I'm doing a lot of popular stuff and a lot of things that I like. You want me to play Bucky O'Hare in the arcade version again? Hey, I'm not in the mood for that now, but I'll do it eventually. That's also a D-Wayne Day game, I think, Bucky O'Hare. <laughs> Alright, how many levels in are we? We've been just sort of doing our thing here at the moment. I need to put more credits in. Damn it, I'm not I'm losing concentration now. Sorry, Josh, my concentration's kind of going out the window at the moment. <laughs> Yeah, August or September. Just before I went to Thailand last, I think. So yeah, August or September. I think I, I think I did the 24-hour marathon right before my flight. Oh, here we go. Let's uh, try this one more time. Yeah, I think it was in September. That's how you should always do your 24 hour streams regularly, almost no one would work. No, but uh, you know, I, I usually do a theme, or I challenge myself, but because I haven't done a 24 hour stream in a while, I'm keeping it very basic. Uh, this is uh, Blood Brothers Firestart Heart, thank you so much for coming. Oh look, it's a Bobo! It's a Bobo with a gun! And again, thank you all so very much, everyone, for those uh, likes, shares, and star donations. As I said, most importantly, guys, thank you very, very, very much for your time. And, uh, you know, you guys give us so much every day. And, uh, you know, that's a... You can't put a price on that, so I really appreciate it. Thank you for making us your stream page, guys, whether you're on every day, every week, or every month. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to have a break, but we're going to come back on with a late-night stream pretty soon, Firestar. Jacob says, how about some Bad Dudes? D-Wayne already played Bad Dudes today. I'm not playing Bad Dudes again. That's a D-Wayne game today. Alright, I'm going to use one more credit, Josh. <laughs> one more credit, let's go. I thought this was a cowboy game, and there's like the Goodyear blimp in the air. What the hell's going on? Since, 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 when, since when is there the Goodyear blimp in a cowboy game? I don't get it. To quote what Matt would say, if it was me, I would not have the Goodyear blimp. Oh gosh. Damn, man, really? Ah, <laughs> oh, damn it. I just want to beat this boss. I'm going to beat this boss with Josh and then we'll move on. This is, you know, I don't want to... I don't want to leave halfway through a boss fight. I want to achieve something. Oh. So Firestar Hearts, this is actually pretty cool, you haven't seen- Yeah, this, this is pretty good, it's by a small company called TAD. And, uh, you know, they had some hidden gems in the arcade back in the day. Oh my gosh, what a freaking boss, huh? Alright, one more. Come on, Rick, you can do it. Every time you use a credit, you get a really good gun and some grenades back, so hopefully this will help us out. Dude, really? Did this boss battle start again? Since we were- oh gosh. No, hang on, there we go, it's all- DUDE! This Goodyear blimp's about to explode! Die, Goodyear blimp, die! 
Almost got this Goodyear blimp. Oh, crap, that was close. Da, 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 da. This does kind of look like a Texas cowboy apocalypse, doesn't it? Oh, gosh. Oh, my goodness. Did not, did this not make... Yeah, there we go. We did it. I died at the same time. Wow. Oh, no. We have to do the whole fight again. All right, that's it. One more time. Oh, fuck it, eh? Oh, my gosh. It keeps respawning every time I die. It's a fucking bitch. That's like when you get a certain distance in Cabal. Ah, oh, fuck it, eh? I'm going to die one more time on purpose and we're going to try again. Damn, this game is being an absolute asshole. All right, one more time. Let's go. Damn, this is freaking hard. Blow up, you good year mother bitch blimp. Not today, bro. Not today. Come on. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Come on. We're getting close, guys. We're getting close. Die. The Goodyear blimp is going to be no more. Damn it. We got it this time, Josh. Oh, my gosh. What a headache that was. <laughs> There you go, I felt like I achieved something. Oh man, what a what a mission that was. Alright. I'm gonna have a quick dinner break, guys. I'm gonna have an early dinner break. I'm gonna rehydrate. And I'm gonna be back in about 45, 50 minutes with a, a late night stream, guys. I'm gonna do some arcade classics. I'll do G.I. Joe. Uh, I'll do Sunset Riders. Uh, I'll do a Turtles game. And... Uh, yeah, we'll probably do uh, something else on top of that as well. Just something little. So, big thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed whatever Wednesday. Big thank you for watching. Big thank you also to my brother, D. Wayne, for an amazing job earlier. Uh, I'm going to eat. I'll be back in 45 minutes, guys, with some arcade classics. So, if you're up late, guys, I'll keep you company. Uh, to everyone who's going to bed, have an absolute awesome night. We'll see you in the morning to everyone else. Uh, we will be back soon. Take care, everyone.